Hello everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. How is everybody? So tonight, we have a very special stream. At least, <laughs> on a technical level, we have a very special stream, because tonight is our 500th video on this channel. Now, this doesn't uh, mean 500 streams, of course, but 500 videos, meaning all of the videos that I have done on Vinny Adventures from even seven years ago, you know, and then, of course, I took my, like, big, long, like, five-year-long break. But basically, in, like, I would say about a total of three years period of time of me actually posting content on the channel, I have done 500 videos. Uh, which is pretty crazy to think about. Hello, Disney. Hello, Houdini. I think Bill might even be in here. Hello, Bill. Bill says cuddling with Rose. Are you, is that, is that in, uh, in lieu of the, the poll? Would that be what you would want to be doing? Our poll for tonight is, we're throwing a party in Hyrule tonight. How are you celebrating? And who with? And your options are launching fireworks with Darunia. Hot tubbing with Sidon, drinks with Urbosa at the Gerudo Bar, or dancing to the music with Rivali. Uh, and so far, the only the only champion who has been shown no love so far is Rivali. Lots of people want to be shooting off fireworks or hot tubbing with Sidon, though, which I definitely understand the hot tubbing with Sidon one for sure. David is here. Hello, David. Hello, Houdini. Hello, Disney. Hi, happy 500, says Disney. Thank you very much. So Disney. Um, I was going to try to hang up your, um, crocheted, uh, watcher that you sent me last year, um, kind of as a, you know, a little thing to do tonight, and I realized that I didn't have any of those, like, little sticky thing. I was gonna get one of those little sticky hooks where they've got, like, the sticky back, but then, like, the little plastic hook, and I was gonna hook it up that way to... Honestly, I was thinking about maybe even just putting it right up there between Pyra and Mithra, but... I, uh, I don't have any, so what I did instead, I don't know if you can even see, is, do you see it? So it's like, it's like, oh god, this is hard to do backwards. Boop, there he is. You see him? Friends, that is a, that is a crochet thing that Disney made for me. It's a, it's a watcher, and it's absolutely wonderful. He has a little heart next to his eye. And then over here, David! David, do you recognize this? David actually is a leather worker, like IRL. And uh, he leather worked me a, a custom made like switch case with the Vinny Adventures logo and everything on it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't use it out and about uh, because at this point I have so many damn switch games and joy cons and stuff that I need like a big fat juicy one to like shove everything into. Also, I feel like I would ruin it if I brought it out and about with me. So it sits up there as like a collector's item. Uh, which is honestly where it should be, because it is, it's beautiful, and yeah. I have had many, many wonderful things made for me, um, on this channel over the years, and I just, like, right at the start of stream, I just want to, like, thank all of you, like, anybody who's ever been here for any amount of time, who showed me any support. I know some of you have literally liked, like, honestly, there are some of you here right now that may have very well liked every single one of those 500 videos. Like, Disney, I, I would be shocked if there were any that you missed, honestly. I mean, maybe maybe there were some series that you missed, I don't know. But even the series that you didn't watch, you, you were telling me you were liking the videos anyway. So thank you to everybody who supported me, really. It, it means a lot. Um, if you are watching this, uh, and maybe you're new to the channel, or maybe you've been watching my videos recently, uh, my Breath of the Wild ones, and you haven't already subscribed, you should subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to, to grow the channel. Honestly... I, I told Bill, I was like, should I, I was like, I feel slightly ashamed that I have more videos on this channel than I do subscribers, but it's, it's a bit of a, it's nuanced because, you know, I did take that huge long break and I actually lost quite a bit of subscribers during that time, which was understandable, of course. Um, and honestly, at the rate that I chug out content, it, it doesn't really surprise me. And I feel like at least to start out, a lot of small channels kind of surpass their, their subscriber count with their video count. But either way, it's a huge milestone for me and I should be proud of it as Bill reminded me um, last night and today. So 
I'm I'm very proud of myself. This has been a, a long time coming for something like this, and honestly, I don't know if I would have even known that it was the 500th had YouTube not been keeping track of how many videos are on my channel. In fact, I don't know if you go to my channel page right now, it might not be updated until this video is over, uh, because when I posted the stream for today, technically the video was up, but it wasn't live yet, so it still said 499. I think it either probably says it now, if you go to the channel page, or it will say it as soon as the stream is done, so. 500! That's a crazy, honestly friends, that's a crazy long number. Lexi's here. Lexi, do you want to know a really hilarious fact about 500 videos on this channel? Because you, I know that you watched and loved this series. This was the series you actually found my channel on, Lexi, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is 63 of those videos. 63 of those videos are Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Literally more than 10% of the videos on my channel is that series. To be fair, that is, that is not the majority of the actual content on the channel because the Xenoblade videos were like 30 minutes to 45 minutes usually each, like in terms of length. Uh, my streams are about four hours, so obviously Xenoblade is a very small ultimate part of the channel in terms of like how much content there is to watch, but in terms of raw video, you know, number, uh, it's, it's easily the largest series that I have on the channel, which is just funny to me. Um, Houdini says, I just ate cake, bro. Oh my god, in celebration, right? Is that why you had cake? <laughs> David says, TBH, I didn't realize you still had that. LOL, that's nice. I do. I keep all of my stuff. I do not get rid of... Honestly, I'm a hoarder, so that, you know, that translates into my real life, not not just in video games. But, um, yeah, I, uh, why would I get rid of it? Why would I get rid of it? David is into leather. I didn't say that! <laughs> I didn't say that! <laughs> Phil says, okay, I'm packing up the office and heading out. See you later. You drive safe, husband. Drive safe. Um, cross stitch, friend. No sweat, though. Oh, wait, what did I say? What did I say? Did I not say cross stitch? What did I say? Crochet? Oh, I probably said crochet. That's probably what I said. Yeah, she cross stitched it. It is a cross stitched um, watcher. And it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Honestly, I, I'm, st hey, I'm still waiting, Gorilla Games. When are you going to release Horizon Forbidden West on PC so that we can replay it on the channel? I, I was, I was happy with that series, like very, very happy with it, but I was constantly struggling and fighting with the graphics. So like, you know, because my, turns out my, my like hard drive on my PS4 Pro was dying and that's part of what what was happening but i'd really love to play that game on on the channel on pc like you know r like amazing high setting you know graphics and stuff so when is that gonna happen i think maybe sometime this year hopefully um houdini says yes but also no about the cake <laughs> david says forbidden west came out on pc like two weeks ago but wait what are you are you trolling me? This is not- it's not April Fool's Day, David! David? David. Are you ser- How?! How did this happen and I didn't know about it?! Are you absolutely kidding me?! When did they even announce that this was happening?! I don't remember hearing, did they, were they just like, surprise, it's ready, and then just dropped it? Are you absolutely kidding me? So Horizon Forbidden West is available on PC now. <laughs> Which means Vinny is now going to have that on the back of his brain as I'm playing other things, because like... I don't think we can do it, like, we're not doing it next. We're doing, like, my plan is that we're going to finish Breath of the Wild and then we're going to do Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remake on Switch and then we're going to maybe do Tears of the Kingdom, but I don't know. Maybe now I'm going to sneak in Forbidden West before we do Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, really, it just kind of depends on how badly I want to do Tears of the Kingdom after playing this game for however many... Oh my god, a star! Wait! I want it! Wait, is there a faster... You know what? In... Mm, mm. Can I do this? Am I allowed to do this? I just saw the star. Sorry, I know we're talking about things. I know that we're like, you know, celebrating here, but 
I can't pass up a, a fallen star, friends. It's just, it's it's there taunting me. Uh, Houdini says, I'm playing Tucked. <laughs> You're playing Tucked. Very nice. Very nice. Have you, is this your first playthrough of Tucked, Houdini? Or, or is this, is this not your first playthrough? Where is this star at? Oh my god, it's literally right here. Wow, how convenient for us. Oh, it's so beautiful. Are you allowed to take pictures of these? Not really. I might do it in- Oh wait, I want the sparkle. Get the sparkle. Oh, dang it. Uh, come on. Oh no, there's skeletons in my picture now! Well, it's, uh, atmospheric. No, it's mine! Leave me alone! Quick! Bob and weave! Um, where are we going? I, you know, I was, I was actually in that place in, in the Great Plateau because I thought it was gonna be, you know, kind of like where we started this adventure. I thought it would be kind of thematic, but actually, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport to this stables because I have plants for tonight's street. We're gonna do some big stuff in celebration. Um, <laughs> huh, this is propaganda. Wait, what's propaganda? There is a strict punishment for propaganda here. Wait, who? Oh, is this is this because of the the Xenoblade being so so many? I'm confused. Explain, Lexi. Oh, and Bill Bill posted the link to Horizon Forbidden West. Guess I know what your anniversary present is on Friday. How, no, you can't you can't buy it for me because I'm gonna buy it on Steam. <laughs> you can't technically. You can't technically, I mean, I don't know, you could maybe gift it to me, but you need like a st d there, why don't we just have like a nice night out or something? How about we let that be the present and Vinny, Vinny cause I can buy it, I can buy it, it's fine. Um, huh, was so sure I messaged you about it, apparently I didn't, tragic, says David. No, you did not. You did not message me about it. I mean, not that it makes much of a difference, friends, because we can't do it right now. That's not how the that's not how I operate this channel. Um, and yeah, technically, I do have a full series on it. Do I really need to do it again on the channel? No, but it's like seriously such a good game. And I know like like Disney, come on, like you would be totally up for some more for like Horizon time, you know? It's just such a good series, and I don't know. I just want to see what it looks like on PC, all in, like, 4K and beautiful and everything. It'll be so good. Um, Houdini says, no, not my first playthrough, though. Oh, nice. Um, we're gonna get to Tears of the Kingdom. I promise you, we will get there. Lexi says, it was a joke about, like, Her Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, because I'm propagandizing Horizon Forbidden West. Have you- you didn't watch my Horizon Forbidden West series, did you, Lexi? Did you, Lexi? Well, Lexi, when we do the game, you should hang around, because honestly, Horizon the Horizon games are... How do I how do I say this without overselling it? The most fucking amazing games of all time! <laughs> They're so good. Honestly, the characters are great. The world is just absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's well written. Um, it, the gameplay is top notch. Uh, the the creativity of the machines and how they operate is great. I mean, it's just so good. It's so good. Honestly, I can't wait for the third one. But I gotta tell you, I I don't I don't know what they're gonna do with Silence because Silence actor um, Lance Reddick died last year, the year before, and they they have basically made that character to be Lance Reddick. Like somebody technically could maybe voice the the character, but they I just don't. I think it would be I don't know. I wonder if they're gonna kill him off. I just wonder if they're gonna kill his character off, like at the very beginning of the game. I, I could see it happening. Especially because he kind of had a little bit of a nice wrap-up moment at the end of Forbidden West. Like, it's sort of satisfying that he, well, I won't spoil it for those of that, ha that haven't played the game or watched it, but like, basically he has a nice little character arc toward the end. And I feel like even though there was still plenty of opportunity for him to be sort of a weird, like, pseudo bad guy in the third game, I think they might just kill him off, you know, maybe. Um, Disney says, Horizon again. I had to step away for a minute, so I missed that revelation. Very excited to watch that game again, though. Mm, me, I'm excited to play it again. Uh, I did not. I was about to play the games myself. I might try it eventually, says Lexi. Oh, you so you so should, Lexi. It's so good. A watcher noms on his face, the end. Oh, man. That would be really awful if that's how you went. Like, death by watcher. How terrible. 
So tonight on stream, and I guess I can actually, I'm gonna make my screen bigger so that I can see the game better. I don't have to look at my face all night like y'all do. <laughs> ha ha, y'all have to look at my face all night and I don't. Ooh, give me, wait, give me this. It's like right here, no please, Link. Thank you. Um, we are going to do the fourth Divine Beast today. Yes, we are, friends. I felt like, you know, maybe four or five streams ago, I said, oh, I'm saving it for like when the time feels right. The time feels right. The time, the, the time is nigh. The end is nigh. So we are going to do, uh, we are going to do the Divine Beast today. And I have a fun little way that we're going to do this. And by fun, I mean absolutely horrible, but let's try it anyway. Now, I have a fl I have a fire elixir on me. I would like to point this little tidbit out, okay? I do have a flame elixir. In fact, I have two. Fireproof elixirs for six minutes and ten seconds. I specifically got these, I think maybe even at this stables, for the sole purpose that I would eventually need them to explore Death Mountain. And look, there's the Divine Beast right there. Oh yeah, there he goes. Um, however, when we first played this game about seven years ago on Twitch, I didn't know that Link was going to catch fire on Death Mountain, and I didn't know that heat resistance food wasn't going to be enough. I thought it was. You specifically need the fireproof things, of course. And so I basically made my way up the mountain while Link was burning to death, and I just shoved food in Link's face over and over and over again. <laughs> now we could learn from our mistakes. We could absolutely learn from our mistakes and we could drink one of these elixirs pretty much immediately and take our time and have a nice, chill, cozy beginning to the stream. We could very much do that. But what if we didn't though? What if we just, in honor of seven years ago, Breath of the Wild, what if, because it, Breath of the Wild, if you didn't know, was technically my second series on this channel, but it was running at the same time as my first series. I was actually, I started Twilight Princess. That was the first video I ever made on this channel, was Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, and then... During Twilight Princess Breath of the Wild was released, and so I wanted to stream it on Twitch, so I basically backlogged a bunch of Twilight Princess videos, and I was posting them on a schedule while we were playing this game live. Um, so... Why was I- why was I giving that, like, well, because this- this was technically the, like, if you want to be real technical, this and... And Twilight Princess were like simultaneously the first series that I was doing on this channel. So it seems fitting that 500 videos later, we are still doing. Can you imagine if all 500 of those videos were just Breath of the Wild? Like we're st like 500 videos later and we're still doing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think that it's fitting if we climb up this mountain the same way that we did in the original series. That's all I'm trying to say here. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as Link starts catching on fire, I will start booking it, but until then, I'm gonna try to take a little bit of time to explore, maybe. Disney says maybe he'll take more of a back seat, like maybe we won't see him, but someone else can still voice him and the gang can still talk to him through the focus. That's a possibility. I wonder if anybody out there is good at doing a Lance Reddick voice, you know? Like, I wonder if that's a thing. Um, I mean, honestly, it's a great big world out there. I'm sure somebody out there can can do his voice perfectly, you know, but they got to be able to find that person if they're going to go that route. Because, like, otherwise they would have to have all this, like, audio saved up, you know, that he had already recorded. Or maybe, I don't know, can they use AI to do it? Is that disrespectful? That's That's probably disrespectful, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I think the best plan of action would be to either kill him off which would make me sad, but it technically would work pretty well, I think. Um, or have somebody else voice him, you know? But it's not even just voicing because they also did their own acting. Like they did the green screen thing where like they wore the, the suit with like the little balls on them and they acted the parts out. So they would also maybe have to get his mannerisms down. I don't know why I said mannerisms. I said that very strangely, but yeah, they'd have to get his mannerisms down um, as well. And 
it's not like I'm sure there's somebody out there that's up to the task, but it's just it's a tricky situation, isn't it? Would just would just make you an MMO streamer except Breath of the Wild one game to rule them? Oh yeah, I guess there are people out there that do that, huh? So many Legend of Zelda videos. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine if that's all we had done? Honestly, we've done so many games. I think two or three streams ago we were talking about it. You know, like how how many get somebody somebody came in and asked me what I have streamed and what I have done on the channel. And so I was going through the list and I was like, it's a long list. I think this literally just goes in here, no? It either goes in here or in the other one. Oh come on. Come on. Get your cube in the hole, Link. Okay, it doesn't go in that one. It probably goes in this one. Yeah. Yahaha! Ha, ha. We found two of them, actually. We found two Korok already. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, as far as the Forbidden West things, thing goes, I'm very excited about it, but I'm also like, those of you that have played it or you watched my series on it, you probably know how it ended, and there's a lot of different ways they could go with the third game. There's, there's a, a genuinely a lot of different ways. So, I think that's actually a great thing, though. I think the the possibility being that kind of endless is good because it means that I won't be able to figure out what's going to happen in the story before the game even comes out, you know? What is this? Wait, what is this down here? There's a guardian. I see. Oh, there was a lizard. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. okay wow. Did you see that? That was so embarrassing for you to see, Choo Choo. Can you please not? Can, can we not? Oh, God. If I kill this choo-choo with a lightning arrow, does it turn my choo jelly into yellow choo jelly? No, it, do it does not. It just kind of still blows up and that's about it. Um, I didn't really mean to loot that. I was trying to see if there were any free ancient parts on this guardian. There are no free ancient parts. I feel a little bit cheated out of some free ancient parts. So we're going up to the tower first because I didn't do that the first time I came to this area and I'm gonna try to do at least one thing a little bit more intelligently here so yeah um, we're still gonna maybe try to climb up the relatively normal way but we'll see and at some point link is I don't know maybe I'll should I just change into the climbers gear now I think we need it I think we just need it and oh Rose is going crazy I wonder if Bill is home I wonder if my husband has arrived Ooh. I think we still need these, don't we? Weren't we like kind of still like five swift violet short or something like that? And I said we needed to go and buy some from Zora's domain at some point. I I vaguely remember saying that, but I don't know. So how was everybody's weekend? Did anybody do anything fun over the weekend? I, I would like to now open up this. This is the part of the discussion where y'all share your lives with me. And then I say something super funny and, and like witty and cute and kawaii about it. <laughs> this this is that part of the video. Because honestly, what the hell did I do all weekend? Did I just do the same thing that I always do every evening? Pinky, try to take over the world and also play Stardew Valley. I think that's what I did. I think I tried to take over the world and I also just played Stardew Valley all weekend. Bill, we didn't do it. Are you still- are you in here, Bill? We didn't do anything fun, did we? I don't know. What did we do? Oh, I missed the eclipse today. That's something that happened. I just straight up missed it. I forgot it was happening. I didn't set an alarm. And I was still lazing around in bed in the afternoon and I just like totally- it slipped me by. Because y'all know my sleep schedule's like terrible, right? That's not a surprise for anybody. <laughs> Cheryl is here and says, I'll need to go immediately for school, but congrats on the 500th stream, Wahoo! Cheryl, I am so happy you're here, even if it is for just a moment. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so much, not even just for being here tonight, but for being here all the times you've been here, and just for being a wonderful person and moderator, Cheryl. I really appreciate you. You have a wonderful day at your labs. You go, go, go kill them. Go get them. I don't know, what do you do at school? It's been so long since I've been to one. Go my I'll just say what my husband says every time I play any video game. You go storm the castle, Cheryl. <laughs> All right, so here's a momentous occasion, friends. This tower is our very last Sheikah tower in the entire game. We will have 100% filled in the map after this moment. Oh man. 
Say goodbye to this. This is the last time you're ever going to see this happen. Ever! Sheikah Tower activated. Oh, man. Scanning area. There it is. There it is, friends. Oh god, and it's Death Mountain. Complete map of Hyrule extracted. That's it! She says something different, actually, which is interesting. I forgot about that, but yeah, that is it. We have the full map of Hyrule full filled in. Man, note I mean, I guess this makes sense, but I was like, it's a, it's very scarce up here in the northern side of the map and very dense down here in the bottom half with like shrines that we found. We've definitely spent a lot more time in the southern area of the map. That is about to change today though. We're going to be doing all the Elden stuff today and we're going to be trying to fill in the, the upper part of the map in terms of like shrines and stuff. Um, Cheryl says, not labs, it's a general mod today, but haha, -ha, thank you. I don't know what the difference is, but whatever it is you're doing, you storm the castle. <laughs> David said, I laughed at this during the cutscene, by the way, David, if you saw me laughing, that's what it was about. David says, played Lost Ark, found an Ark, it is no longer lost. <laughs> My, um, the, the girl who was staying here at our house, like, last month, the actor, the actress, um, she loves Lost Ark. I think it was Lost Ark. Is Lost Ark the one with the dinosaurs and it's, like, very Minecrafty? Is that the same game or is that a different game? I think that's the same game. But, uh, she was showing me videos of the game because I was showing her videos of Horizon and, uh... She, she like, loves the game. She really wants me to play it on the channel. I don't know. We might. Maybe someday. I mean, I'll never say never. But it is it is not a genre of game I've really... Pl like, I haven't really played a, uh, you know, sandboxy Minecraft sort of survival game yet. Well, maybe we should. Um, David says, that's Ark Survival Evolved. Lost Ark is the Korean Diablo-esque MMO. Oh, that's that one. Oh, okay. Oh, is that the one where you can be a bard, but it has to be female? Is that that game? I think that's the game you're talking about, right? Lost Ark is the one where you can be a bard, but it has to be female, because that's not sexist at all. Um... Yeah, I, I was briefly looking at playing that game, and then I was like, no, that's annoying that they, like, gender lock classes. It doesn't make any damned sense to me in 2024 to gender lock a class, but whatever. That's maybe just my... No, you know, that's not an, that's not an old man hill to die on. That's just like a let's not be stupid developers. Let's, let's just not do stupid things. Disney says, more stressful than fun, but I ran one of the... Sp I ran one of the sports during the second show Saturday. Oh, spots, spots. Oh, in short, one of the spots needed to stop for her health, and I, and I took over for Act Two. Have do you not normally run the spots? Well, I guess if you, I'm sure you have run spots before, but you, you even if you've run a spotlight before, you need to still have like some kind of run through with the actors so that you kind of know where they're going to be going. I'm sure that had to have been stressful for you. Did you do an okay job with it, Diz? I'm sure you did okay, right? Um, Disney says she was okay for the show on Sunday, but it's a thing that's happened now. Hmm. It, I mean, is that the first time you've run a spotlight? David says, yeah, the classes are all gender locked because reasons. Gender locking classes seems to be an Asian MMO kind of thing. Lots of them do it. For oh, I'm I'm fully well aware. Y'all know that I love Japan and I, I want to visit other Asian countries, but they and they have clearly beat us in many other facets of life, such as technology, like, you know, just how like 
like Japan barely has any trash cans on their streets and you would think that that would be a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing because it means that people don't just throw their trash everywhere. They, they, ex they, you are expected to have like kind of a bag or something that you can put your trash in as you carry it around until you throw it out. So clearly like Japan is definitely, they have a one up on us in many, many areas of life, but they can be a little bit sexist still. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. But then, I mean, it's not like the United States is not sexist. Trust me, there's plenty of sexism here. But uh, in video gaming, there seems to be way more sexism over in Asian countries. Um, so I understand, like, I'm, I understand why it exists, but I don't understand why it exists. You know what I'm saying here? Like, I know why it's happening, but I don't agree that it should be happening. Um... That's two cents. That's my two cents. I'm done. That's my tiny little rant on that. Um, Disney says my track for the show is on deck. I have been up for Spotlight so many shows, though, so it was pretty easy for me. Nice. High five. See, you got this. No big deal. Exciting and kind of scary, but still no big deal. You got it. You're amazing, Diz. Um, Houdini says I, I'm so focused on talked. We'll come and be focused on us. I don't know. I don't care. Honestly, you play Tears of the Kingdom while we play Breath of the Wild. That's so meta. That is so meta. Oh my. And so like Inception almost. Lexi says here in Portland, people miss the trash cans. They do nothing. Ugh, God. We are just animals in the United States. Honestly, when are we going to evolve into the higher species that we should be? The U.S. is a pretty is pretty bad too, though. I think there's more discourse on like misogyny and feminism. It's more out and open here. Do you know what I mean by that? I think that there's just as much, if not more, in Japan, but it's a little more accepted, quote unquote, as, mu as bad as that sounds, or as much as I hate to say that. I feel like a lot, and I'm look, I'm not speaking for any Asian people, honestly. This, this should be more like a Cheryl should chime in sort of a thing, but like it feels like a lot of people just accept it for, well, that's just the way it is, and they're very... Over in Asian countries, they tend to be very disciplined and very quiet, and they want to, like, not stir the pot super much. Um, so I think that's why it's so rampant over there, but it's it's quieter. It exists in probably just as much capacity, but it's quieter. Here, people will be sexist to your face. They will be racist to your face. They will be homophobic to your face, and they'll do it loudly. And they'll cause a ruckus about it. That's that's why it seems... I mean, it is really bad here. It's really... I'm not saying it's not bad. It's really bad. In fact, it could be worse because they're louder about it. I don't know. Take your pick. Either way, it's not good anywhere. And I don't think it should exist in video games. Especially not in 2024. When, there are so many video games now where like... You know, now they're just... They're like, here, you can have body type 1, 2, or 3. And pick your own pronoun and, you know, change the shape of your body and blah, blah. Like, I just, I feel like we could do better. And so, like, when I saw that law, like, I want to play a male bard. That's my thing. That's the reason I don't want to play, like, I'm not, probably not going to play Lost Ark is because I want to play a male bard, okay? I am gay AF, and I just want to play a hot, shirtless male bard. Is that so, like, so sue me? Is that so wrong? <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know. I maybe I'll maybe I'll eat my words and I'll eventually go and play it anyway. But that's sort of the reason why when I was looking to it, looking into it, I like didn't end up playing it. it was because I was like, nah, that's kind of lame. But whatever. People in America just love fighting. It's hard to say what's worse and what's better. Exactly. It is really hard to say. Um. But yeah, I mean, I Lost Ark is is one of those things where I think I would probably enjoy the game a lot if I played it. But I just. Uh, there's a lot of games on the market, you know? I don't have to pick one or the other. I remember there being a shrine down there, but here's the question. Well, I could always teleport back up to the, the tower because I'm not burning on this tower. I will definitely be burning if I go to that shrine. That is a shrine. I'm almost 99% sure because I think when we did the DLC, I remember we either did this shrine or we saw this shrine. Link is gonna start burning, though, as we get closer. And yeah, it is a shrine. See? Oh, no! You know what, though? Let's not burn our weapons and stuff, though, shall we? Well, actually, I don't have anything equipped that will burn. Except for Link. Sorry about it, Link. Oh, no! 
<laughs> Link is on fire and actually dying pretty quickly, if I do say so myself. Link, can you die a little bit less fast? Slightly slower would be good, actually. But I think once we click this, it will... Link will not... See, Link is like mystically no longer on fire during this cutscene. It like resets his flame meter, I guess. I don't know. David says, makes it a bit worse that the character creator in that game is really good. There's a lot of options. Yeah. Like, how hard would it have been? How hard would it have been to just make it, a, like, just pick your, pick your gender and pick your class? Like, I don't know. Not difficult. Not difficult. That was a decision that was, like, blatantly made on purpose. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they made it, but it's dumb. Oh, that actually was enough to break that, eh? Here, let's do the other side then. Uh, huh, eh, don't. Oh, I almost. Did I almost blow myself up? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm guessing I'm supposed to be breaking that. Do I have fire arrows? Oh no, we need to get fire arrows. Oh no, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna like genuinely? Can I can I blow it up from like underneath? No. Because the game actually wants to be, like, kind of realistic. Ugh. I hate when the game kind of wants to be realistic. It's such a- it's such an inconvenience for me. I really don't want to use bomb arrows. Actually, didn't we just get a weapon that I was like, oh, I don't really want that. Oh, yeah. Will this break it? Hoya! Mm, can I grab that with magnesis? Sure can't! Uh, okay, we'll just throw something else at it. How about, how about this? Hoya! Wait, why did that? Ooh, it's lowering. <gasps> My weapons weigh something. Oh, it's still lowering. That's kind of strange, actually. Oh, this works. Hey, I did not expect that to work, but um, I'm happy it did. Master Sword, help! <laughs> I'll take my weapons back, thank you very much. Wait, am I about to- Ooh, I thought there were spikes up here for a second. Hmm. Hmm. So, we have a chest. It is of the non-metal variety. It has a small key- Oh, I see. Small key so that we can go in here and grab some metal blocks. Houdini says, I just beat a boss in Tokt. Nice! I love- you know what I love about you, Houdini? You're also non-spoilery, so you didn't mention what boss it was, and I thank you for that. I thank you for that, because we do talk- we obviously talk about Tears of the Kingdom here, but we don't spoil it. So I like that my viewers are very conscious about being non-spoilery. You guys are great. That's another- you know, all of these years that I've been streaming and making videos, I- I really have not run into too many people who have been bad about spoilers. I mean, we have had to ban a couple of people. We banned a 10-year-old one time. Look, I'm just gonna say it. Do I feel happy I had to do it? Hell no. But I did it because, well, he was spoiling things. Was I just gonna let him spoil stuff? Can you climb onto these? You can't. How do I get up there then? Well, mm. Oh shoot, how do I get up there? Cause like, oh, I see this one. Oh, they, they even, oh, oh right. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so... I'm gonna take both of these. We're gonna take both of these, but don't you fall off. We're gonna get on top, and then... Actually, maybe I can't have both of them now that I think about it. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't have both. Here, you need to get off. That's gonna do that. I'm gonna grab another block, and I'm going to... Oh, wait, what am I gonna do here? How, wait, how does this work? How am I... Oh, wait, I know what I'm doing. Wait, I know what I'm doing. I think I need to let go of this, actually. Um, and then I'm gonna glide over here. Is this what I do? And then I think I lift this up. Eh. And I put it on top. No, put it put it on top, Link. Mm-hmm. And then we glide over here. And then we get rid of it. 
Is it enough to get rid of it? No, I think I need to also put this up here. Okay. Whee! And then we're up, and there we go. Weight puzzles in this game, I tell ya. Uh, inventory's full. Well, where's that Moblin Spear at? It's about to be abandoned. Goodbye, 15 damage Moblin Spear. Oh yeah! Man, that went far. Houdini says, can I say the first letter of the boss? Absolutely not, Houdini! No! It is against our terms of service and our rules. No spoilers. And I know sometimes that can be gray area, and I have flat out spoiled stuff before. Do you, Disney, do you remember that one stream where we were doing God of War? Now, technically, we had already done it in the game, so it wasn't a spoiler, but like, I think Nemkev was in, was in, uh, chat, and he was like, he was like, I haven't finished playing the game, or like, I, I plan on playing the game or something, and I was like, oh, then I won't spoil, like, the big revelation that just happened in the game, and then I accidentally let something slip later on in the stream. And then I kept digging a hole and making it worse, instead of just shutting up and trying to, like, make it better. Because <laughs> that's what I do. I, I dig lots of holes around here. Um... How do I want to do this? I don't think you need all three pieces, do you, of, of these metal metal blocks? I don't think that's a thing that I need. Am I supposed to be trying to balance these out? What if I just, uh, what if I'm just quick? What if I'm just, like, really good at video games? What if I'm just super quick? What if that's a thing? I think you're supposed to balance out the weight so it's even, but screw that. We're gonna- we're gonna live on the dangerous side. Quick, Link! Link, Link, Link! Oh, okay, I fell. I fell. It's fine. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that I did it slightly badly. Actually, what's keeping me- Oh, I was like, what's keeping me from just gliding from here? The spikes. The spikes are keeping me from doing that. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get hit here and die. I feel like, I feel like that's gonna happen, but... Okay, turn, camera, turn around. Go! Ow! <laughs> it worked, though. You can't act like that didn't work. Disney says, yeah, I remember that, but, like, he should have known, you know? Because, like, I watched all the BG3 even though I'm still actively playing. That's true. You should be aware that, like, if you join in on somebody's stream, even if it's, like... Because I think we were side questing that day, and so he felt like it, it was okay for him to be in there. You know, but I mean, there's still always the risk that something's gonna slip. But I, I, oh, I remember what it was. I, I'm not gonna say it was the thing with, we'll just say Odin and Tyr. It was that thing, that big revelation. Um, that's what I let slip. And I don't remember why it got brought up in the conversation, but it did. Very, like, I very casually threw it out and I was like, oh no, Nemkev, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then I just kept- I don't remember, but I kept making it worse somehow. David says, at least for BG3, even if you know an ending, there's like seven others, so your, so your overall ending is probably different. <sighs> True. Man, I really wish that we could have had a better ending for Gale. I'm still really sour about that. Because there was really- I mean, you guys saw, I tried every- I tried everything I could. And there was no way of fixing that. And from what little I have read about that particular part of the game, it's apparently based off of, like, one thing. Literally just one dialogue option bef before he goes in to talk to Mistra is, like, what determines that ending. And I don't think that should be that way. I do not think that it should be that way. Um, I'm terrified. I- why am I doing this? Why am I making this harder on myself than it needs to be? Why? Like, he's gonna start burning immediately. We're gonna start dying immediately, and then I have a very limited amount of time, based on how much food and hearts I have, to get over to either Goron City or find another shrine. God, look at that- look at that temperature meter. The temperature meter is just also on fire. Link's on fire. The temperature gauge is on fire. We are so lit here on this stream today. Oh god. <laughs> I'm like trying to climb and pay attention to my stamina, but also my hearts. Okay, uh, I, you know what? Now's a good time, I think. I'm a little scared, actually. 
Ha ha! Ha ha! Fire can't kill me! I'm invincible as long as I have food. Don't ask me how this works. Don't ask me how, like, Link is not just gonna look like Two-Face from the Batman, like the, the Heath Ledger Batman. But, oh god, I really want to mine stuff, but I now's not a great time to do it. It's admittedly not a great time. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, am I gonna have enough food? I'm trying to find, like, a better location to Rivali's Gale at, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not just doing that right now. Uh, is there another... S is there another shrine somewhere? Okay, okay, I hear you. Oh shoot, wrong wrong inventory. All right, you know what, now's a good time. I think now's a good time to do it. I think I'm heading in the correct direction. Maybe a shield as a frying pan? <laughs> I'm going to use my trusty frying pan as a... A frying pan. I'm, we're, we're just gonna burn. There, There's no... Well, technically it's a drying pan. I'm pretty sure Link is drying out right now. He's being smoked, you know? He's he's like the new dehydrator in... Uh, or he's being dehydrated like the new dehydrator in Stardew Valley. Okay, okay, I see, I hear. You're very angry at me, Heart, heart Gage, I know. As he says, that's hilarious. We should definitely be able to cook food of our own... We should be able to cook food on our own on fire person. Oh, do you- wouldn't it be funny if you could act- yeah, like if you could cook food on Link as he's burning. Who's to say? Actually, where is the city? I'm heading in the right direction, aren't I? Is it over there? Oh no, I'm lost! I- I think it's this way. Oh yeah, they, I see the mountain. I see it. Look, do you guys see that mountain? It kind that rock thing. It kind of looks like I think it's supposed to be Darunia. Is it is it Darunia or, or is it Daru? Oh shoot! I just realized in my poll I said Darunia instead of Daruk. Whoopsie poodle. Sorry, sorry, Daruk fans. I I meant to say launching fireworks with Daruk, but I actually wrote Darunia because I'm an ocarina of time simp, apparently. Uh, monster. You know what? Here, we'll eat our rock hard food. We'll eat our monster thingy. Oh wait, I had other stuff to eat, but whatever. We'll just eat all this. Just eat all this crap that we don't really need. Oh, I had some good seafood pie. Seafood paella we could have eaten. Look, it's gonna be fine. Oh shoot! I have 214 rupees. I really did not think this through very well. Oh, the meteors are- I forgot about the meteors. I forgot that meteors happen. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm sorry- oh god! I- okay, I did forget about that. I- I- you know what, it slipped my mind. But you know what, they had. they seem to have stopped. They seem to have, so we're still good, technically. Um, where is the armor shop, though? Is it... is it this one? I think it's this one. Oh, cutscene. D Disney says, LOL, sell your tasty rocks, get the money you need. See, here's the issue with that, Disney. We gave all of our money and all of our rocks away on last time's stream so that we could spend 10,000 rupees on the ferry and 4,000 rupees on ancient gear. I don't even know if I have anything to sell. <laughs> Here he is. This is my favorite divine beast. I love this thing so much. He's supposed to be like a salamander. He's supposed to be like a salamander or like a lizard. And I love him. The joke is funnier if you read the end after the beginning. Wait, what joke? Which joke? Disney did Disney's joke? I don't know. Okay, we're still on fire though. We are slightly less on fire. Oh no, we're still on fire in here. Um, doesn't he say something funny if you're on fire when you talk to him? Hey, you can't go out dressed like that. If you don't hurry and change your gear, you're gonna pass out from the heat. I want to buy. Hey, you can't be so casual about stuff like that. Hurry up and buy some gear. 
This doesn't seem like a good time to talk. What is this place? <laughs> hey, you can- Okay, he just says the same thing. Okay, I understand. I understand. I- I'm- Oh, but I need- Wait, I need to sell! Will he let me sell? Oh, I do actually need to sell. Got it. Let's make this quick. Okay, he will let me sell. He will. Okay, um, uh, no, I don't want to sell durians. Alright, what do we- What do we actually have? You know, we do have diamonds, and I said I didn't want to up- You know, I, I literally said that I didn't want to upgrade the diamond circlet, right? So why am I holding on to diamonds now? Sell them all! <laughs> this will give you enough to buy probably one piece. Uh, so we still need to sell more stuff. In fact, let's just sell what we got. Because it's kind of important. It is kind of important, and I really did not plan this out super well, did I? Uh, we may be selling monster parts now that I look at it. Cooked food can also sell for like a pretty decent amount too, depending on what it is, but we have a ton of Lizalfo's horns. Let's sell like... Let's try to keep 50 of, of everything if we can, because sometimes things take like 15 of an ingredient and there's three pieces, so you need like 45 of them. So I feel like staying above 50 is like probably a good idea if I can do that. Uh, we'll sell 11 key... No, okay. I guess we're selling 10. <laughs> I guess we're selling 10 key swings. Um, oh dear God. I really don't, I don't have a lot. How, like that sells for 60, 70, 10, 50. Does anything sell for like a lot? Hey, I don't want this hasty elixir, it can go. Ooh. Thanks beetle, beetle gave me that I think for like one of my beetles. Um, These don't sell for much at all. Oh no. Uh, do I want this? Oh, that's a good chili elixir, and it only sells for 30, so we'll keep it. God, I don't know. Is this enough to buy the whole set? I mean, we don't technically need to buy the whole set immediately, but... Um, okay, I'm going. 700, sure, that's pretty cheap. Uh, I can put this on right now. There we go! Goron artisans used flame-resistant rocks to craft these fireproof boots for curious Hylians visiting Goron City. Thanks for your business, brother. I'm gonna buy the helm. Oh my god, that's 2,000. How much is the chest piece? 600, that's way cheaper. Oh, I still have enough for the whole set, though. We're gonna buy it then. That says exactly the same thing as the leg, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it. Um, and then the helm. Oh, it actually says something different, though. Stone headgear made by Goron Craftsman to protect tourists visiting Goron City. As if its flame resistance isn't enough of a selling point, it also covers your entire head. Actually, this is part of the reason why I don't like this set. I mean, look, it's the me like, it's, it's a look. It's, it, it looks interesting. It's just kind of ugly, though. And it hides Link's beautiful face. Oh, we're actually sold out. We'll have to get more stock from old man Rowan. Well, I'll be rowing my boat on out of here, sir. So we can actually now survive. That's really all you got to do to get in here. It's honestly flame resistant stuff is only it's optional. Look, it's optional as long as you can get in here and actually like buy the armor, then you don't need it. You just need some food really is what you need to survive. And obviously there were a few little tricks that I did there, like going in the shrine, and I mean, then again, I just teleported straight back to the tower anyway. But you can do little tricks like that. The cutscene also kept us from from dying as well, like it, it stopped the fire for a little bit, so... Disney says, I love Varudanya too, wonderful mechanic once you get inside. Oh, I know. And then we should probably do a ton of mining to get that good stuff back. Oh, we should go talus hunting is what we should do. I mean, there's lots of mining opportunities here though in the the Death Mountain area, so we probably will honestly get some just kind of casually walking around. David says all that nice mining that was skipped on the way over can go back for it. True. See, I like the way you think. A traveler. Perfect. Hey, why don't you stay here and rest your weary head? Uh, what is this place? This is the distinguished Goron establishment. Rolling in. Do you guys get it? Rolling in. <laughs> See that? What a lovely view of Death Mountain. Uh, that's what I'd like to say anyway, but boss's house is kind of in the way. Oh, I thought this was the elder of the village. Whoops. 
He's just very old. He's not the elder, though. But to make up for that, I can offer you a mostly pain-free massage session. You'll feel as loose as gravel afterwards. My voice is going to die in this area. I I may have to start read like I'm going to try to read the Goron voices in Goron voices, but it does hurt my voice to stay like that low. Like I know it's not very low, but I have a higher voice and so going down like even a little bit lower can sometimes hurt. Yep, I think you should definitely stay here, friend. Uh, no thanks. We're not gonna stay at the inn quite yet. Eventually, maybe, but not- not right now. Um, oh no, a lizard! Oh, I needed you! Oh, I hate them so much. Um, we want to talk to this guy, I think, first. Drat! That blasted Rudanya. What's wrong? With Rudanya running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudanya stomping around up there on Death Mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. Can't tell you how many times we use the cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Oh. Oh. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Are you okay? <clears throat> it's just some back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler. <laughs> you just said goodbye there. I see, so then you came all this way to pay your respects to me? I like you already, brother. Well, the name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child or to make a silenced child cry. Uh, either way. Yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudanya like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. Mm. That blasted Yunobo. When will he return? Who is Yunobo? Yunobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudanya. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Slacker. I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Yunobo, will you let him know that I'm looking for him? Oh, oh. ouch. <laughs> so he has back problems. Honestly, same friend, same. I feel ya. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, he he wants us to go off and find another character by the name of Yunobo. We will do some more exploring in this town, but why don't we just, like, head out? There's also a shrine up here, and I really want the shrine sensor to... STFU! Shrine sensor. Oh my god! He evaporated out of nowhere! Is this a... Is this a, go a Goron ghost? Or as I like to call it... A ghost? <laughs> Whoa, it's a Hylian! That's unexpected! What are you doing here, little guy? There's only an abandoned mine past this point and lots of monsters. In other words, it's dangerous! Yeah, I know, but I am the hero of... Well, I was gonna say time! But he's not really... He... Don't they call him, like, the hero of the wilds or something? Isn't that, like, because all of the... All of the links have, like, different titles, essentially, in, like, Afterthought. Oh, look, it's an Octorok that sucks. Too bad we don't have a Rusty Halberd anymore, eh? Saberkite is here. Hello, Saberkite. How are you doing tonight, friend? It is wonderful to see you. By the way, everybody like the stream if you haven't already. I At one point, we had 10 people in here and 8 likes, so... You know, I just want to remind everybody that liking the stream helps us out a lot, gets more people in here, and we're having a really good start to our night, honestly. So thank you to, to all who are in here and all who have already liked the stream. Isn't Link's title just champion in Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom? That's not really what I mean. I'm not talking about like what other people in the game call him. I'm talking about like what Nintendo typically calls Link. So like... Link from Ocarina of Time is called the the Hero of Time. Um, I think Link from this game is called the Hero of the Wilds. I think that Link from Twilight Princess is called like the Hero of Twilight or something like that. They all have like a name. They all have like a name. 
Houdini says, I'm a go. Bye. Bye, Houdini. Hopefully we'll see you later, friend. You have a good night. Um, David says maybe he can help Magni with the wounds. <laughs> he does kind of look like... Like, he evokes Magni vibes, doesn't he? Magni Bronzebeard. Champion! Champion! Champ... Champion me wounds! <laughs> I don't know. I can't... I can't really do a dwarf voice. Okay, don't you judge me. Oh no, I don't have fire arrows! This is the worst shrine ever! Wait. I need that. No, wait, actually, no, I don't. I don't need anything. This puzzle can just be solved like this. <laughs> I don't need... I don't need... Oh, God, Link, you did almost get squished, though. You did almost just get squished. Um... What? Why are there leaves here? Why would I want to burn this? Stones? Oh my gosh, it's a stone smasher. Oh, these are really... These things are also really good for mining. A two-handed weapon forged from a rare metal mined in Goron City. Its center of gravity is at its tip, so it uses centri centrifugal force and its sheer weight to smash opponents flat. Uh, what could we possibly get rid of? Here, this this crappy thing. Get out of my inventory. Oh! <laughs> I slashed the, the leaves. Have you ever seen the fan comic where Link... Where three Links are in Breath of the Wild... Tears of the Kingdom Hyrule? I don't believe so, no. I do not believe so. Um, and Saberkite says most people just refer to him as wild, as far as I know. Yeah, I, th I think he's the hero of... I think he's the hero of the wilds. Um, I don't know. Oh, God. Must we, Guardian? Must it always be this way? What should I use on him? Should I be using our Forest Dweller's bow? You know what? There are not a lot of cool-looking bows in the game, so I actually think I should put that up in my house. Um, let's use... God, I have a Lionel bow times five. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. We should use that on a Lionel sometime. Let's just go through these things. I don't know. Let's just actually use our stuff. Like, yeah, check that out. I mean, these things are weak. I could just be slashing them. Why don't we just slash them with the master sword? Where is it? Me. <laughs> wow, one hit. One hit from the master sword killed you. You're pretty bad, sir. You're pretty crap. Ooh, a ruby. See, we're already making our money back. <gasps> Although, to be fair, we don't have a whole lot to spend money on anymore. Like, like we're kind of getting to the point where money is... Not going to become obsolete, but it's definitely going to become less of an urgency to have it. Okay, so that drops that. Oh, shoot, though. I I don't have, like, regular arrows. I need to knock this... Isn't that how you do this? You, like, knock it into the... Can I do this with lightning arrows? Oh, yeah, that works. That did work. I was For a second, I was like, is that not going to work? Okay, so the ball's gonna roll down there, um, and that's actually fine that it stays there. Uh, ooh! Sneaky chest? What's in you? Saberkite says, also yay on 500 videos! Thank you! Thank you, Saberkite. Saberkite says, I'll, I'll put it in the Discord. Oh, did you put the comic in the Discord? Not yet. But I'm, I'm eagerly anticipating it. I am eagerly anticipating it. Um... How long have you been playing Breath of the Wild? <laughs> That's a really hard number to, to tack down. Like, honestly, I've played through the game probably four times. We did a, we did a playthrough on the channel seven years ago when it first came out. Um, and honestly, that playthrough probably had, what, 160 hours in it? A, a, a long time. A long time we've been playing Breath of the Wild. We've been playing Breath of the Wild for 500 videos. <laughs> oh god. Disney says your flame blade would also work to burn leaves. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I have that thing. And also welcome the clarinet guy. I feel like I remember your name, clarinet guy. I feel like I remember your name from somewhere. Have you been in our channel before, in our live chat? If not, welcome to the channel. How are you doing tonight, friend? It's lovely to meet you. If, if I haven't met you before. Um, I think this is the button I need to press, no? And then this just works this thing, and then it opens up the door. I think literally this is as, like, it's as simple as that. 
Does the door eventually close? Oh yeah, it does. So it's kind of timed. It's not that difficult. And honestly, if you really ran felt like you were running out of time, you could stasis the wheel. And I'm pretty sure that would also keep the door from closing for a little bit. Uh, what do I need this key for? Over here somewhere? I think that chest that we found down there was the secret one with, like, the... the ice arrows in it, so... I don't think I'm looking for any more secret chests. Oh my god, is it not done yet? It's not done. But why? I mean... <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna do this- look, why- why? Why take the extra energy to solve the puzzle when I can just make the button stick? <laughs> checkmate, Nintendo! Checkmate! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> Disney says, welcome in. Please no spoilers if you want to talk about Tears of the Kingdom, though. The clarinet guy says, uh, I haven't been here, I'm good thanks, and he hasn't played it yet? Okay, I won't. I have played Tears of the Kingdom, but we haven't played it on the channel, and I like to keep my series spoiler-free, so, um, that people who are watching who haven't played the game don't get spoiled. It, it's just like a courtesy thing, you know what I mean? Um, we've been talking a little bit about Tears of the Kingdom, but not, like, spoilery things. Mostly just stuff that, like, was in the trailers, you know? Like, I've been talking a lot about the Ultra Hand and, like, some of the fun things that you can do with it. But that that's about... That's about the limit, I think. Um, but, yeah. So we are, we are actually, as you can tell from the loading screen, we are doing our final Divine Beast area today. I mean, technically we're not at the Divine Beast, but we're going to do the, the last Divine Beast today in commemoration of me having 500 videos on my channel, which is a lot of videos, friends. That's a lot of, that's a lot of videos. Um, here, I'm gonna kill this guy because he, he looked at me funny. <laughs> Plus, I think we do need to go off in this direction. What happens if Octo Balloon catches on fire? Oh. Well, okay. I guess I didn't need it. I didn't- I didn't need that up to- no, stop it! Quick! Quick, suck up the bomb! <laughs> I guess I didn't need it. I think that- I don't know, maybe- Do- do Red Lizalfo's tails burn when they fall on the ground? I don't know, we're gonna have to- We're gonna have to be picking up loot quickly, I think. I think that's a thing that's gonna have to happen. Oh my god, look at him! Look at him in his little construction hat! I love- god- the Goron in this game are the cutest effing thing. I love them so much. I mean, come on. Come on, though! He's so cute! And the little Goron kids are even cuter. They're so, like, round and adorable. Yeesh, what's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know it gets much hotter past here, and there are also lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Uh, do you know Yunobo? <laughs> Yunobo? What is a stranger like you asking about Yonobo? Uh, boss wants to know. Huh? Boss does? Well, then I guess I better tell you where Yonobo is. Why does he talk like this? I remember this NPC. Why does he talk like this? Why does he stretch out words in weird yeah. places? Yonobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. But now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, do you need something else? Uh, you know what? I... You know what? Sure. Who are you? Who? Me? Yeah, you. They call me Drac. They, like, they, they, they draw the word out that long, like, like how you just did it. Ever since Divine Beast Valrudania showed up, there's a ton of lava. It's way too hot now, and there are more monsters around too. Boss keeps watch over the- Like, why? Why is he stretching out the word watch? You don't- That doesn't make any sense. There's- There doesn't need to be emphasis on that word. Over this area, but he can only do so much. See, that one was fine. Like, that one I'm like, okay, sort of makes sense, but... <laughs> 
Where am I? Ah. This is the abandoned North Mine. Oh, and this is the little ditty we all used to sing as we worked. Ammo goes boom till ore fills the room. Gather said ore for rupees galore. Dig all the day to get the good pay. Yeah, this is a famous mine, my man. Or it was until Divine Beast Valrudanya showed up. Now it's way too hot. There are tons more lava and all kinds of monsters out and about. It's so dangerous, we can't dig here anymore. So, did you need something else? No. no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. Clarinet Guy says, my favorite game. Honestly, if it's not my favorite game, you know, it's my favorite game of its genre. Can I say that? Is that fair? Because... I also really love Ban Banjo Kazooie and uh, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door are also really up there for me. And also, I really do love the Horizon series. Like we were just talking about, how apparently Horizon Forbidden West has finally released on PC, so we might replay through that game on the channel at some point in the near future. Because um, I love those games like with all my heart. But Breath of the Wild is like, it's so incredible. Saber Strike. Sab Saber Kite <laughs> says, Looking back on Breath of the Wild, I realized I really enjoyed the Goron quest the most. I love the Goron area. And honestly, you would think that like a lava-y area would be kind of unpleasant to be in, but I find it to be weirdly beautiful here. You know what I mean? Like, it's weirdly beautiful, especially at nighttime. I love it at nighttime. Saber Kite says, Although it was the last one of the four that I did, so the order that we originally did these in when I first played the game is actually, I did this one first. I did Rudanya and then Ruta and then Naboris and then Mado. And this time through, we're doing them in the exact opposite order. So we started with Mado, then we did Naboris, then we did Ruta, and now we're doing Rudanya. No. Hey, stop that. That's the boss's... We already talked about this. Don't you dare touch that lever. I'm doing it anyway. Screw you, sir. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. Die! Oh, oh wait. I Hold on. I forgot how this worked. Oh. Oh. Ready? Kaboom! <laughs> that... Oh my god, that poor Lizalfos. That poor Lizalfos. And also, why is this Goron guy telling me not to touch it? The boss man gave me permission. Oh man, are y'all ready? Woo! Oh. Oh, that doesn't actually shoot where I thought it was going to. So are there only two directions? Okay, I guess there's only two directions for this one. Wait, then how do I kill them? Maybe with that cannon over there? I don't even know. There is a cannon down there. I suppose I could go check that one out. I don't know. I never really, like... I don't feel like I ever fully explored this area when we did this before. Let's explore a little bit more, shall we? Disney says, I did this area first. I love the Gorons. And Clarinet Guy says, Recommendation, you should get the Switch Online Expansion Pass and play Ocarina of Time. I would love to see that. That, you know what? Good suggestion. I didn't know that that was a thing, that you could play Ocarina of Time on Switch. I genuinely had no idea. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that they released it that way, but I didn't know. Um, yeah, because honestly, we are kind of making our way through the Zelda games. Like, at a, like eventually, my plan is that we will have done them all. Um, but Disney, who is one of my moderators slash has been here, for, like, maybe the longest out of anybody, um... She has not played or really seen anybody play Wind Waker or Skyward Sword, so we're the next Zelda game we do other than Tears of the Kingdom, because we're doing that one actually next, but the one after that's going to be either Wind Waker or Skyward Sword. Probably will be Wind Waker, though. Um, but that's not for like a long, that's that's like a long time in the future. Does this kill these Lizalfos? Is that what this one does? Sure does. Goodbye! Do I lose out on- I lose out on the loot, though, when I kill them that way, though, right? And I do need Red Lizalfo's Tales. So... Maybe not my brightest idea, but definitely fun to do. It's fun to kill them that way. Justin is here! Hello, Justin! How are you doing tonight, friend? 
It is lovely to see you on this on this fine eve. Oh my god, it's like really hot in my office. What is going on? Uh oh. Oh, I see you. Oh, you can't hit me from there. Ah, oh, you're a terrible aim. Also, I feel like shooting through like this heavy wind is probably not a great idea for you. Here, I think I, I'm gonna wait until he's done shooting. Can you shoot another one? Come on, do it. Shoot another one. Do it. Shoot it. Shoot it! Okay, he shot it. Go! Wee! Uh oh. Wee! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> uh. Should I? Oh, I thought I was gonna have. I thought I was gonna have enough time! Master Sword, save me! Oh, is he coming down? Oh, he's a coming. Actually, maybe he's not. Are you just gonna yell at me? He's like, get off my lawn! Oh, you're gonna spit. You're gonna spit water at me? Oh, there goes the Master Sword. R.I.P. Master Sword. Hey, that guy didn't even drop a tail. I need tails. Ooh. Ooh, that's. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Oh, oh. Okay, Link, this is not a great time to, to be doing here. Uh. What? Ooh. <laughs> Alley -oop. Oh my god, that almost hit me. That did almost hit me. So yeah, the, it looks like the at least the talons and stuff catch fire if you take too long. So don't take too long looting things when you're in this area. Saber Kite says he didn't get the memo. The Goron didn't get the memo from the boss that you had permission. Wait, so did he want me to go back or something and like... I mean, I just did it anyway. Like, honestly, who cares? <laughs> what are you gonna do to me, Goron? I'm not gonna stop me. Unless a cutscene happens and you teleport me away from the, the cannon, I'm gonna use it. It's just... What are you gonna do about it? It's unfair that the enemies can use bomb arrows here, but if you use it, it hurts you. I think they're using fire arrows. Or Oh, actually, maybe you're right. They do kind of make that little sound that the bomb arrows make. Huh. Yeah, you know, I was not mad about that, but now I am. Thanks, Saber Kite. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, here, if I go over... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Oh, wait, it's fine. It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No! Kill! Oh, I missed that last one. Uh-oh. Link! Link, go get your loot! It's catching on fire! Eee! Get it, get it, get it! Okay. This place is stressing me out more than I remember. Here, there's a cannon over here to use. Let's use this. They're just fire arrows, are they? Well, I sure wish that I had... F oh, I do have fire arrows. Oh, yeah, you're right. The fire arrows do make that sound. Wait, so what happens... <laughs> what happens if I do this? What happens if I do this, then? Live... Live chat? What ha What? But, but could I... But could I do this? <laughs> Uh, but what if I do this? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? For science! Oh! <laughs> worth it. That was worth it, I think. I don't know, you can't tell me that wasn't worth it. Oh God, y'all y'all are lousy shots. Y'all are really lousy at shooting me. Oh my God, I was practically standing still and you still missed me! <laughs> They're so bad. Y'all are bad at Breath of the Wild. Y'all are bad at it. Go back to spirit tracks. <laughs> oh man, I just roasted them. Go back to, to Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. Die! Oh my god, the, the absolute carnage that these cannons do. The absolute carnage. Uh, what direction does this face when I turn it? Nowhere useful. Oh, okay, but I... Okay, look. Look. There's, like, red rocks, and I know what these red rocks are. 
You can't just blow them up regularly. You have to make them go boom with the cannon. Oh, I bet you- is it that cannon over there, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Twirls. What is this called? Goatee. <laughs> Twirls goatee. <laughs> I don't like ma mm, I don't know. Let's go let's go find out. Cause like there's gonna be maybe something fun under those rocks, and I would like to know what it what's under them. <laughs> there's two types of people in this world. People that told me not to do it, and people that told me to do it. Oh wait. Oh, isn't this just the original- oh, this is just the original cannon. Wait. So... I feel like the comedic music works really well when I'm looking puzzled, you know what I mean? Like, it's a good underscore for, like, the face that I make when I'm so confused. I... I am, though. I- oh, maybe that's cannon over there. Whee! I think it's probably this one. <laughs> I think this is the one we shoot. You know, I never really did this this extensively before. I think I just kind of went over to Unobo straight away and just did it. Oh, is this one of those you have to time it at the right time? I bet you it is. I bet you. Okay, let's just time this correctly the first time then. Ready? Did I get it? I got it! Oh, is there mining up there? Mining! <laughs> I'm not gonna throw my weapon at it, though. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- OH MY GOD! Okay, why? Why did he not grab onto the side of the- the- the rock? Link, that was not your finest moment, sir. That was really not- And no fireproof gear is gonna save you from that, Link. No fireproof gear is gonna save you. Look, y'all have been there, done that, right? You, like, go to jump off a cliff, and for some reason the X button just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Just like, doesn't work. <laughs> and then you just like, you plummet to your doom. Or, or at least, until you can activate the glider. Except sometimes, in that case, I didn't have time. Didn't have time to activate the glider. Alright. So we're getting some nice goodies out of this place, for sure. Um... Have I used this cannon all the way over here for anything? Can I use that to blow up the Bacoblin skull? Is that a thing you can do? That, like, giant Bacoblin encampment? Let's find out. It's a fun area, too, because there's just lots of fun ways that you can get around. Wait until you see one of the ra the ways that you can get around this place. It's... I'm not gonna say what it is, because I kind of want it to be sort of a surprise for those that are, you know, watching this blind in 2024 for some reason, but... Um... Yeah. Ready? Fire! Oh, that does actually blow up the skull. Wow. Cool. Cool. Vinny does the bad thing for the bit. <laughs> says Disney. Sorry, I'm reading through chat. David says, man, Spirit Tracks is such a bad name for a 2D Zelda. I have not played it. I remember watching very, very, very little footage of somebody else playing it, and I don't remember being super impressed by it, so I don't know. Y you guys, I've talked about this before, but I haven't really played... Unless you count Link's Awakening, I have not played the 2D Zelda games. I've only played the 3D ones. And I've played all of the 3D ones, but, but yeah. In fact, I've even played, it's not technically a quote-unquote Zelda game. It's definitely not a mainstream Zelda game, but I've played Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule... What is the second one called? Are they, they're both Hyrule Warriors. Oh, Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I've played both. I didn't finish Age of Calamity, though. I did finish the first one. 2D Zelda's up to Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are very good, but those two are not. Mm. Wasn't the whole gimmick with Spirit Tracks that it was like a train? Like he got around the world by train or something? <laughs> I don't know. Is that is that the gimmick of that one? I vaguely remember there being a choo-choo train involved. Uh okay, what was this worth all of that trouble that I went through? I mean, ice arrows are great. I don't use them as much as I should, because honestly, I use uh, 
like the ice blade, the frost blades and stuff if I want to freeze enemies, but arrows are just as good. Honestly, sometimes they're better, but... Well, I say that, but if you're far away and you freeze an enemy, then you have, a, like, less time to run up to it and hit it with a weapon if you're, like, super far away. So, debatable, but... You can use arrows from close up. Alright, so this is sort of where we need to go. If you come up close to it, there is, uh, somebody yelling inside, but those red rocks are there. And we've already dealt with the red rocks, so we know how to deal with them, but regular bombs will not work on that. So we're gonna have to find... We're gonna have to find a, uh... Can you hear him? Can you guys hear him? Hold on, I'll shut up. Can you guys hear him? He's actually saying the words. It's very rare when... A, in fact, I think this might be one of the only instances in the entire game where a character is voiced outside of a cutscene. Kind of weird, actually. Kind of weird. Link gets an adorable little conductor hat, so there's that. Oh, I bet he's super cute in that conductor hat. Link on a train is just a weird premise. I think the train... Doesn't the train also look like... Didn't they, like, use Wind Waker's graphics style, like, art style for that game? Isn't the train also, like... Why do I remember it looking like Phantom Ganon design or something? Isn't it like a choo-choo train, but it looks like Phantom Ganon or something like that? Oh, it's real weird. Real weird, if I remember correctly. BLSS? Glitch moving? I don't know. I don't know what BLSS is. But also, since you're new here, I guess I should explain this, but I don't like glitching anything, I don't like abusing bugs, and I don't use mods. I pretty much play my game straight, so like, I don't whistle run, for example, or whistle climb like some people do in this game. I find it to be more annoying anyway, so... Um, I don't know what BLSS is, though. Oh god, Korok, I'm so sorry! Um... Yunobo is the best in Spanish. His voice is so deep. Oh god, it's like the opposite in the in the English one. Um, David says, I think it's Wind Waker timeline, and it uses the train to move around the world. I don't remember for surezies though. Oh, still such a strange premise. Such a strange premise. What is that over there? What am I looking at right now? Is that like a? Is that just like a treasure chest out in the open? Unguarded by enemies? Well, don't mind if I do, game. <laughs> don't mind if I do. I'm also trying to recover all of the money that the, the Great Fairy and Cherry the Robot and also that Goron guy in the shop, they all stole money from me. My money has been stolen. I certainly did not receive goods in, in exchange for that money. It was taken from me with no reward. Oh, this is just a royal bow. It does have quick shot though. Hey, I, have we ever played around with the bow that has quick shot? I don't know if we've gotten one yet. What do I want to get rid of? Probably this bow. Oh! I forgot that I had bomb arrows equipped. <laughs> I love how you can just see nothing but fire and destruction, like, behind this menu. It's like, f a moment frozen in time. Thank you! How was everything tonight? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for the Dr. Pepper. You're not quite ready for it yet. No. Yeah, I have not been hydrating well enough tonight. I need to hydrate better. And Disney says hi, by the way, Bill. Hey, Disney. He's waving hi. It'll show up there in a couple seconds. <laughs> Oopsie, says clarinet guy, and Saber Kite says, and he just blew up again. <laughs> uh, I almost don't want to leave this menu, actually. You know, we'll just... We did it. We beat Ganon. The game is finished. I see no reason for me to continue playing. Well, thank you for coming to my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild TED Talk. This was my 500th video, but it is also my last video. This is where we end. Goodbye! <laughs>
Water is the best drink in my opinion. Water is the healthiest drink, but I drink like way more Dr. Pepper than I should as, as a human being, but I just love it so much. Uh, okay, I guess I'm leaving the screen now and dealing with what I have done. Oh my god, it knocked the... Thank you, Link. That was helpful. It, did that just go in the lava? It's gone forever, isn't it? It's... it's gone forever. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. So, lava destroys chests if, uh... You know what? We learned something here. And you know what? Before I forget... Before I forget. Okay. <laughs> We learned something here this day, though. Like, you can't say that it wasn't, uh, educational. I'm here to play this game, but I'm also here to teach. To be, to be a teacher. And I, I believe I have taught, ooh. Is the, is the only purpose of breaking that one open down there to, like, make a wind tunnel? I'm kind of in that mood where I'm like, I want to do it anyway because I'm being stubborn, but I bet you that's literally just a wind tunnel, and we don't need that. We can just climb up the mountain. I mean, maybe if you come here super early and you don't have any stamina, then, like, sure, but... Like, they had to make this area playable enough without... You know, without, uh... Requiring the player to have too many, like, stamina wheel sections, I guess. I don't know. But I have all of the stamina, so I can just climb up this mountain lickety-split. Although I should probably use this. It would be smart. It would be smart instead of just climbing up. Okay, so we still have to break that thing open. I think I'm ready to do it. Because honestly, the more that I try to do other things, the more I almost kill myself. Accidentally, of course. Alright, ready? Hmm... <laughs> Well, that was, like, perfection. That was, like, pretty much spot on in the middle. There's the man of the hour. Dizzy says, I've been hydrating with iced coffee, lol. <laughs> Clarinet guy says, no good. I did not know that, actually. Wait, what didn't you know? Oh, that chests melt? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I, I know I was joking, kind of, but I really did learn something here new this day. I've learned a lot of new things in this playthrough. It's kind of crazy. I've played through this game so much, and I'm still learning things every time I play it. It's, it's honestly just a testament to how good it is. All right, here he is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? Huh? huh. You know, Bo, Goron Youth. Uh, 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 uh. Disney says he's a sweet boy. He is. I he annoys me, but only because of the part that comes up. That's that's like coming up later. The little mini game section. He annoys me because of that, but in general, I like you, Nobo. Hmm. 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 Now that I've gotten a good look, whoa, it's a Hylian! Mm. Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for you, Nobo. Oh. oh, so that's it. Boss told me you'd come to find me. Whew. Whew. Thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yenobo. Everyone calls me Yenobo. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magna bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance, Goro? With a cannon. Huh? Huh? You used boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only boss could handle it. Oops. I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Oh. Sorry, I've got to run, but do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you, okay then? 
I, I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay then, goodbye for now, Goro. He also just looks so much different from the other Goron. It, it's interesting. Like his head is almost like a different shape. And he's like, I mean, some of them have hair, but most of them do not have hair. So, you know, I don't know why that is. He's the himbo in this game, just an innocent version instead of the actual man whore that is Halson. Uh, what about Daruk? What about, I, I would say Daruk. Daruk is maybe the biggest himbo of this game. Oh man, I, I know, okay. Honestly, I don't even remember the character's name, but there's a character in Tears of the Kingdom and he like, I think he's like an archeologist and he takes pictures, but he's like super shredded. It's like super shredded. And like, he's the himbo of that game. Let's be real. He's the himbo. That, I, 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 we can, that, that's as much as we'll talk about. T Taro, is that how you say his name? Yeah, he's not like a major character or anything, so I think it's okay to talk a little bit about him, but yeah, he's, he's super shredded. Like, real shredded. It's Taro, yeah, okay. So what's in these chests? Anything fun? Ice arrows, that's pretty good. So, so clarinet guy, I I noticed that you're um occasionally speaking Spanish. Are you from like I'm curious to know where you're from because we have uh honestly at this point three or four uh frequent viewers that are from places like El Salvador. Um so I'm just kind of interested to know where you're where you're watching from. Uh, oh, a 15 damage cobble clark. I mean, technically this is good for mining, but I might actually leave these. We'll leave those there. We have enough tools for mining right now. Oh, clarinet, clarinet guy says I'm from America. Oh, okay. I just was wondering, because we, we have had a lot of people from like El Salvador and Brazil. I know we had somebody from Brazil. Actually, God, I'm actually really uneducated. El Salvador's not like in Brazil, is it? <laughs> I feel like I'm saying, I feel like I'm probably saying something stupid here, but either way, um, I know somebody independently have said I'm from, I'm from Brazil, and then somebody else has said that they were from El Salvador, so. Um, and we've also got lots of people in here from like Singapore and um, other Asian countries, just lots of international viewers. I love it though, because I learn a lot about like other places in the world. It's a good thing to learn about other places in the world, friends. Roxy, uh, Lexi says, No, El Salvador speaks Spanish. Brazil speaks Portuguese. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Brazil speaks Portuguese. Okay, everyone else except for me apparently in live chat knows that they speak Portuguese in Brazil. <laughs> they don't speak Brazilian? What are you talking about? No, they... Stop... Live chat, stop trolling me. You can't fool me, live chat. I'm not that gullible. I know that they speak Brazilian in Brazil. <laughs> Disney says, I love that y'all know because I didn't know that either. I am also uneducated, Vinny, says Disney. David says, your igloo and moose riding knowledge is unsurpassed. Oh yeah, I know a lot about Canada. I'm somewhat of a Canadian expert. I know that in Canada, they speak Canadian. And they all go to work on mooses, all while sipping maple syrup. And they they speak in eh. They all their language con their their Canadian language just consists of them saying the word eh, but with like different inflections, and and also a eh, occasionally a eh, in different inflections a, eh? you know, that's that's basically like that's all you need to know about Canada. <laughs> Disney says, I know David speaks Canadian. <laughs> Just a question, what's your favorite sport? Like, like the sports get ball? Like that? Like when they, when they play the sports get ball with like, you know, where they like dribble the football and then they use the racket to knock it over the net and into the, into the soccer net. That sport. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Here, actually, my favorite sport is Olympic diving. 
for no particular reason. <clears throat> so, we have rescued Yonobo. <laughs> You know, the shrine sensor is beeping at me. Oh, it's because there's a shrine over here. Why don't we get this while we're over here so that we have, like, a teleport back? Not that this is going to be a super useful teleport to have, but... It's a teleport we will have after doing this. <laughs> David says, knows more about the language Brazil speaks than sports. <laughs> wow. Saberkite says, Olympic diving, ha ha ha, and... I hate that shrine so much. I think I got that. It's cause there's- there's men running around in speedos, friends. There, I spelled it out for y'all. It's cause there's men running around- well, not- they're not running. They're swimming. They're diving. But, <laughs> yeah. If I had to pick a favorite sport, that's my favorite one. That's my favorite. And it counts as a sport. Cause the Olympics call it a sport. And if the Olympics say that it's a sport, then it's a sport. I mean, technically at this rate, esports are sports. So, so video games are my favorite sport. <laughs> video games. Oh god. Oh no. This just looks like a way that Vinny is going to die. Hey, okay, cool link. <laughs> hey, hockey players can be appreciated in a similar manner. Are you serious? Hockey is like the most covered up sport ever. I feel like literally hockey players all just look like, you know what they look like? They look like, they look like Minecraft play. Like they look like the little guy in Minecraft. They're all blocky. They just, they look like big blocks. That's basically what hockey players look like in their, in their uniforms. <laughs> it's like, is there a human being underneath all of that? I don't know. Well, also how? Can you- you can't move these when you're on them, right? Cause we- cause it's like the one time the game decides that it wants to like be weird with the physics, I don't know. Um... Oh, blue flame. Do I need blue flame for something? Probably. Oh, there's- I see, there's a thing down there. Well, I already have my own torch game. I don't need- I don't need your- who needs your torch? And yes, I know that there's a secret chest. I'm gonna get it. Don't worry. I'm gonna get it. Okay, I haven't already forgotten about it. Oh no. Oh no, we have to take this torch through this room and we're gonna get all wet. Can I just do this? Does this work? This actually works. It's kind of... Uh-oh, is this one lower? Nope, this, this'll work. As long as I don't fall off into the lava, it, we should be fine. Saberkite says rugby was mine for a time. I even attended games for a few years and never understood the rules of the game. So you just went to watch rugby and you didn't know how it worked. That's funny. Honestly, I, I mean, I've been to sports games before. Uh, my niece used to do soccer. I say used to because I'm not sure if she still does casually, but she's uh, she's getting her doctorate in May though, so she hasn't really had time. <laughs> you know, you don't really have time to like play sports when you are. But then again, like I'm pretty. Sh oh god, this is. Is this doable? I'm worried about this. If I do it this way. Oh god, ooh. Ooh. Oh, I, I think I under- Actually, you know what? I think I understand how you're supposed to do this. I think you do it this way, actually. Like, now I move that over there, and then I just go down here, and yeah, this is how you do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Uh... <laughs> Oi. Lexi says, one time I shared a screenshot with a friend. He asked why my Discord was in Italian. Is, wait. You shared a screenshot of what? <laughs> Disney says, have you never seen a hockey player's ass? 
Well, to be fair, I haven't watched a whole lot of hockey. But you know what, Disney? I've seen the Mighty Ducks before. I know everything there is to know about hockey because I've watched one movie that is like a vaguely about hockey. Right, I'm gonna jump over. <laughs> Disney says, uh, clarinet guy says, Disney, that's so out of pocket, but so true. <laughs> and Lexi says, it's in Spanish, dude. Oh, so he thought it was in Italian, but it was actually in Spanish. Well, forgive him. I don't know. I don't know if, well, I mean, I, you know, I would recognize the difference. Because you know, you know why? Because Italians, when they write Italian, they, they write it with this. This is how they, they, they write all of their Italian words with this hand, like this. So you can always tell just by the handwriting. And, and they, it, it carries over in, onto the computer version, the, the typed version. Okay, it has a, it has a font. <laughs> David says, you could watch that old basketball documentary Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball documentary Space Jam. I've seen Space Jam before. That's the one with like the Looney Tunes and like uh, Michael Jordan in it, right? Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that movie as a kid. I think I saw that movie in theaters. Actually, that's how old I am. This is why I think people should be forced to be bilingual. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Mighty Ducks and romance novels taught me everything I know about hockey, says Saber Kite. A authoritarian system for bilingualism? Honestly, but it's a I, th I think it's a good idea too. I think I think you should be required to learn a second language. You should probably at least be required to learn something about other countries too. So, you know, we don't create like civilization where where we're all racist because we know nothing about other people from the world and we're just scared of them i mean because literally like i'm not excusing racist behavior but like that's where racism stems from is somebody being unafraid of the un or being afraid of the unknown like you you're not you you've never <laughs> This this is this is a sad but true fact, but there are actually places in the United States where there are white people who have never seen a person of color in real life. Like like for real. And when they finally go and meet one in real life, they feel uneasy because they've never met one before and it's like not something they're used to. And I just think like I lived most of the places I have lived have been like really big melting pots. Like I lived in New York City for about four years of my life. I lived in Phoenix, Arizona, which is a huge, huge city as well. Um, so I've been around all sorts of people and obviously I've taken trips places and n n now my first true international trip was to Japan. So I've been to Japan now, but you just learn so much about the world when you travel and when you meet all different types of people. There's like more people out in the world than just you friend and, and people like you. Um, so I do think that people should be required to, like, at least travel or, like, at least learn something about other countries and, and people. And of course, yes, I say this as I just 20 minutes ago thought that people in Brazil spoke Spanish. <laughs> um... Disney says trashy romance novels about hockey are so silly and so worth the read. Wait, this is a thing? There are actually romance novels that are specifically about hockey? Like, that's a thing? Also, how the hell? Where do I go here? Hmm. There. Did I miss a trick? I wonder if I missed a trick. Because I see that elevator. I see that elevator. I obviously lit this. Hmm. I mean, there's a switch up there, but I just... Hmm. Link can't fly. Why can't you fly, Link? Why not? I am confusion. Did I... mess something up? <laughs> Is there supposed to be a platform here? I see that there's like that. It looks like it's gonna tilt a ball somehow. Does it have something to do with this 
torch thing over here that needs to be lit? Oh, maybe it does. Oh, it does. Wait, I got it. I think I'm, I think we're on to something. But doesn't it have to be blue fire? I don't have regular arrows. Oh no. What do I do if I don't have regular arrows? <laughs> Link, can you craft arrows? Can I turn the water? Like, what? Legit, what am I gonna do here? Can I throw a, a weapon? Maybe? Oh man, I really wish I had that Moblin Spear now. Oh, I really wish. Because, I mean, this isn't. Like. <laughs> Shoot the arrow towards the elevator, throw the torch. You think I can throw the torch from here? I don't think I can do that, friend. That's, that's, here, does it throw straight? How, what is the trajectory on this torch? No, it does not really throw that straight. Oh, shoot. Oh no, what am I gonna do here? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have arrows for this. Oh, there are romance novels about everything. There's motorcycle club guys, bodyguards turned boyfriends, or what have you. I read a particularly poorly written theater romance once. The author obviously didn't know how theater works. <laughs> uh, sometimes arrows don't go away when you shoot them. You know what I mean? Sometimes, but maybe that's only regular arrows. Does, can you, you can't shoot it with, with fire, right? Like, this isn't gonna work. It has to be the blue fire, I'm pretty sure. But let's just try this to say that we've tried it. Oh, that didn't even light it. That didn't even light up at all. Come on! Be blue fire! If I dip a different, like, what if I dip this arrow? Nope. Nope. <laughs> what if I dip this arrow? <laughs> what if... What if I dip this one? <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, wow, wow, okay. I'm saved. It doesn't actually do anything. Okay. But this is still a problem, though. Why don't they... They sh Look, if they require arrows in this shrine, they should give you some arrows somewhere. I don't want to have to go to the shop and then come back. There's really no arrows anywhere. I wish that I had... Act like... Can I reactivate that water thing? Because then maybe I could like, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe I could like dip the fire arrow in the water and maybe it'll extinguish it and turn it into a regular arrow. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna work that way. God, this is so annoying. Can I set the wooden bow on fire? <laughs> Oh man, I mean, this may be the only way I can do this. I don't have anything else that's flammable, right? Nope. Well, we're gonna try this with our only torch. Because Vinny is lazy and doesn't want to try any other way. You know, I could save scum this. Haven't really done any save scumming in this game, but I could. Probably won't though. I don't know, let's just try. Ready? Huh! Yo, okay. Hello, my name is Vinny. N Adventures, as Cheryl likes to say. I am a Breath of the Wild pro. And I am about to sign a million dollar esports for Breath of the Wild contract <laughs> for that throw. <laughs> that was good stuff. Oh no! Wait! <laughs> oh, okay. <Whew. laughs> I, d I hope I didn't need that ball for anything. I really hope I didn't need that. Dude, I am so happy about that, though. Oh, no. 
I need that torch, don't I? No! Wait, hold on. They gave me another torch back there, didn't they? Didn't they give me another torch? I think this is still doable. God, I'm really just... I'm threading this one by the needle, aren't I? <laughs> Basically, you need two minimum torches to do this. If you have no arrows. <laughs> you need, like, at least two torches. Hopefully, I don't need more torches than that. Hopefully, I... S hopefully, there are no more areas in here that require arrows. Because if there are, I may be a little SOL, but but we're, we're going to see. I don't know. You will? You will need arrows? Is that what you're trying to say, clarinet guy? Oh, man. Don't tell me that. Why would you say those... Clarinet guy, that is such slander. You come to my live chat and you just... You post slander? You call me names? How dare you? <laughs> yes, I see you, guardians. Guardians of what? Guardians of nothing. Um, oh, that one was actually smart. Okay, you know what? Come here. Just die! Ow! Stop it! <laughs> uh, please be arrows. Hey, how about some arrows? Okay, I'll take a giant ancient core, though. That's a good compromise. But arrows would have been cooler. Ooh, wait. Arrows? Arrows, please? A great flame blade. I really do not need that. Although we could replace the other one, so at least our durability is refreshed. Plus, didn't that one have more damage? Die! Oh, you really... No. Great flame blade. You shall go to the volcano from whence you were... S smelted. I don't know. Smithed. There it goes. <laughs> Does a great flame blade melt in the lava? Does it just become one with the lava? Or is it impervious? Oh, this one doesn't have more damage, but it does have long throw. That, that's good enough, I guess. All right, torch. Oh, shoot, wait, where's the fire? Oh, I did need to, oh wait, I can use this. Wait, I can use this fire. Plays elevator music. You will, no promises, not about that, the ball. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Are you talking about the spiky ball that tried to kill me? Oh! Oh, shoot! Wait, how does this one work again? Wait, why is this difficult? <gasps> Rude! Okay, I think you can do this this way, can't you? Oh, you can't spin attack with this thing? I, I need arrows for this, don't I? Or, I need to throw the thing again, is probably something I could maybe do. Oh, this is risky, though. Oh, this is so risky. Can I do another one of those, like, highlight reel plays? Breath of the Wild highlight reel? Ready? Go! Okay, that did not work. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stupid. Oh, wait, I know one way I can do this. Hold on. I know a way I can do this. Uh, my, my big brain. Are you ready for a big brain play? Big brain play time. Uh, you shall not squirt all over me or my torch. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, live chat got it. Live chat got it. Y'all, I, I am being a little extra nice. I'm letting y'all backseat a little bit more than I usually do. But mostly because, like, I'm actually trying to figure out puzzles before I read your comments. But just be mindful, friends. Just be a little bit mindful. Um, unless I specifically usually say live, like, what do you think I should do live chat? I typically... Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, are you serious with this crap? You really do need arrows for this shrine, don't you? How could- can I get over- how are you even spo- oh, wait. What? I'm assuming that, like, this platform's thing probably makes the wind go, right? 
And then the platform back there probably probably makes the other wind go. And you have to like hurry over real quick. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> this annoys me so much. Like all of this could be avoided if I just had arrows. Link! Why can't you craft arrows? Man, if only I could like maybe here. What else could I there's gotta be, there's gotta be some trick. There's got to be a trick to be used here. I almost feel like, what if, where's my like chew jellies? Where's the fire ones? Oh, right here. Oh, that doesn't... Wait, I thought you could create, like, an updraft, or like... Oh, I remember how to do it, I think. Isn't it this and, like, a pepper? Let's see if Vinny remembers things. Oh, no, I don't... Oh, whatever, I guess we're using two. Does that not work in shrines or something? I'm very confused. And yes, I see that I'm low on health. I'll eat something, sure. I thought that if you did that to peppers, that they, like, exploded and created, like, you know, an updraft. A pepper that's been gently caressed by an open flame, it's much less spicy now. You think wood? Disney says, "It's a. This is a rough thing to do without the arrows. I'm chatting more than normal, and... But Vinny's... Right, clarinet guy? Backseat gaming is normally frowned upon here. Bad mod. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's cool, friends. I just thought I would remind y'all, especially because we do have somebody new, and I don't want to set a bad precedent. Do you know what I mean? Um, maybe it is wood. Maybe, maybe it is wood. Uh, what if I do a... I, see, I, I vaguely remember there being peppers involved. That's the thing that's tripping me up here, is I do remember there being peppers involved. Here, what if I do all three of these and we use, like, a metal weapon? Like the Master Sword. No. I could sleep. Apparently you can sleep in shrines. I don't know how that would be helpful. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here, because the thing is, is... Oh god, that would be so tricky. Because even... Okay, let's let's think through this. Because even if I could throw the torch and hit that, and then make the wind go... Well, wait. Guys, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pro this. Are you ready? I think I'm gonna pro this. Where is it? Why is it? Why is the wind not working? Wind! <laughs> oh god. Wait, it was it was lit up, wasn't it? Oh, this is a really Are you serious? You spawned me Dude, this is literally just like a well, I guess you lose now. This is is this the game's way of telling me Vinny just go fucking buy arrows? Fine. Fine, I'll go buy the arrows then, game. That's what they call a pro gamer move. <laughs> okay, please give me credit where it's due though. That in theory, that should have worked. I thought, well, I need the platform to not move so that it doesn't run into the, sp the sprinkler thing. So that I can activate it Use the wind that it will activate to glide over to it, and then very quickly pick up the torch and then do the same thing to the other platform. And in theory, that would have worked, but for some reason the game didn't, like... The- I don't know. The game just, like, didn't. Didn't want it to happen, I guess. Thank you. Is this the hint? Is this, like, dear god Vinny, please hydrate your body? Oh. 
Okay. Seems like this shrine is harder than the actual divine beast. <laughs> At least the way I was trying to do it. Uh, where do I buy arrows? Oh, good night. Bill is off to bed. Bill is off to bed. Oh, please tell- You don't sell regular arrows here? Sir. Sir, this is very problematic. Who doesn't sell- Here, I'll buy some Goron Spice, though. Sure. I don't know why, I just feel like maybe I want this for something. Oh, I also just realized I don't have a lot of money. Maybe I shouldn't be buying things. Okay, I guess, you know what, we're gonna go off to somewhere that's actually good. We're gonna go someplace that actually has arrows, sir. <sighs> Clarinet guy says, water, please. No, never. <laughs> Only Dr. Pepper. Don't you know, I literally have Dr. Pepper flowing through my veins as we speak. Mmm. Delicious caffeine. Delicious artificial flavoring. Actually, I don't know. Didn't we look at ingredients for Dr. Pepper and like, they were all like, there were no artificial, I don't know. Then again, there's, there's the sugaring. Pretty, I don't know. I thought the artificial sugars were only found in the diet sodas. Isn't this like 100% real sugar? I don't know. <laughs> is it, look, is it good for me? Debatable. <laughs> Am I- am I here to- to do healthy things? No. I'm here to sit here slouched in a chair for four hours, play video games, and sip soda all night. That's the content that y'all signed up for. You must do good brushing th them toofies. Yeah, I do. I- I had Invisalign braces for a long time. Um, now I just have retainers, but yeah, I do- I brush my teeth twice a day. Minimum. Sometimes more. Depending on if I've eaten something that, like, I just feel like I really need to get off my teeth, like, right now. But yeah, I, I very rarely ever get cavities, actually. I drink Dr. Pepper all day long, and I I think the last time I got a cavity was, like, God, like five or six years ago. Um, in fact, I get compliments on my teeth every time I go to the dentist. And my dentist has a mini fridge. Get this. I have, like, the coolest dentist ever. My dentist has a mini fridge that is filled with soda. They will actually give you Coke if you want it. And I, they might even have Dr. Pepper, honestly, now that I think about it. They'll give you soda if you ask for it. In fact, they'll offer it to you even. And they have a little, um, like, mini kind of like a toaster oven thing. And they bake chocolate chip cookies in it. And they, they give you chocolate chip cookies as well. Am I lying? They used to. They don't anymore. What do you mean they don't anymore? Gone. As of when? Uh, about a year and a half. They'll offer you water, but they no longer do cookies either. I no longer have the coolest dentist, I guess. They got rid of it. <sighs> now, tell them, though, about the fact that he changed his name. So that yeah. Just... Our, our dentist, so that... I don't know. Should I be telling people the name of the dentist that I go to? Oh, Maybe... Oh. I mean, basically, it, it he started a business called Better Dental, and people complained that he shouldn't be allowed to call his dent dentistry like better than others. Like, like other, I guess other dentists were complaining about it. So he legally changed his last name to be Better, B E T T E R. He legally changed his last name so that he could say that it wasn't. That, that there was, like, a legitimate reason to name his business that. And I don't even know if legally he needed to do that. I don't know if any of those complaints actually had validity to them, but maybe they did. I mean, he, he changed his name. Kind of crazy. The dedication's crazy. Bro is wild. Yeah, no kidding. He also will occasionally come in and play the guitar. <laughs> I really do have the coolest dentist. Although his business has gotten so big that now there are, like, multiple dentists there. And I very rarely get to see the main dentist anymore when I go in. It's kind of sad. Um, okay, Shrine, we're back, and we have arrows this time. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the heck out of this shrine. Is the ball gonna respawn? Oh, no, it is! You know what, ball? I'm gonna stare you in the face, and I'm gonna win. Actually, can I use this to kill all the little guardians? Oh, they're probably just dead. Oh, no! Ooh! 
Ooh, scary! Wait, I want it, though. Don't ask why I want this, I just do. I feel like I can put this to use somehow. I- I feel like I can- uh-oh, is this gonna... Be- be cool. Be cool, Magnesis Room, be cool. <laughs> I don't want any- I don't want any metal balls being dropped onto my head. You know what? Can't I just- Can't I just destroy the water faucets? Like, DIE! <laughs> DIE WATER FAUCETS! Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye- Oh, it's- Oh, it's was so sad sinking into the water. Okay, so I think what we're really just- Like, this is actually a, quite an easy puzzle. Like, very easy. Yep, that's literally all you do. May so maybe- Maybe the reason- the wind didn't light was because you have to light them both before the you know what I mean? Like one doesn't just light one of the the wind turbines, they both light both of them, if that makes sense. Kind of dumb that it worked that way cuz if it didn't work that way, I could actually like have done what I was trying to do successfully, but I'm hmm. Okay, I think I know what to do here. I think I go back here. And I use this. Yeah, you're, so you're a little bit hot, Link. Get over it. I use that to light that. Oh god, now I'm standing on the fire. Um... And then... This is actually quite simple. This is... this is... this is quite simple. Uh... yeah. So, I wanna... I wanna take this... And I want to light this. I don't technically need to be doing that with an arrow. Um, and then I want to stasis the water faucet. And then... Magnesis this. Oh god, can I do this fast enough? Go, 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 go. Alright, cool. And then I think this needs to kind of be like... This needs to be like there. And then I should be able to glide... Actually, I, why am I even doing this this way? This is a metal chest. Are they serious with this? This is just a metal chest. <laughs> I don't need to- I don't need to do that that way. I don't know. Silver ruby, okay. Uh... God, at this rate, I don't even want to- I want to, like, use my shock arrows, because I have way more of them. That's pretty- Oh, can you not- Can you not be- Oh, can you stop it? Stop it. Bad robot! Okay, you know what? Master Sword's coming out. Die! Die! Oh, these ones have more health. They're a little chunkier. They're thick with two seeds. They're also all dead now. Why would you want- Oh, can you burn that and then kill the, the little guardian scouts with it? I bet you can. That would be cool, I guess. Oh, Man, I need the fire. Oh god, wait, I need the fire. Huh. I think I need my torch. This is like a torch moment, no? Probably a torch moment. Uh... Torch is at the end now. Oh, wait. Where's my torch? Oh, I lost my- Oh, shoot! Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Oh, no. Oh! Also... I see you. You thought you could outwit me? <gasps> oh, I could use this? I could use this instead of a torch. Oh, how nice of the game. Hmm, what do I want to get rid of? Oh, definitely this. Get out of my inventory. To be fair, that wasn't a terrible, that was not a terrible spear, especially if we actually upgrade our ancient set. That's actually a pretty good spear, but, um, I need the room. And that's just the thing that's gotta go. Can I get close enough? Ugh! Okay, I can't. Just do it this way then. Oh, Link! Link! You almost had a bit of a fall there. Oh, Disney! Disney, this is- are you here, Diz? We need to have this discussion. Um... Do we want to revisit how we count deaths? Because... We've had a, an ongoing discussion of, like, deaths should not, like, my opinion was that unless you see the game over screen, 
it's not a death. Because originally, that's what Disney and Pat said, was that they, they thought it should be a game over screen and only a game over screen that counted. However, me falling in the lava? Kinda like a death, though. Like, sure, we didn't get a game over screen, but like that... Like, Link died there that day, you know what I mean? So like, should we count that? I don't know. I'm almost wondering if we should. This is really easy, but kind of cool. You do a spin attack here and there you go. Wait, what? Why didn't that work? Wait, that always works. Please tell me you don't need a torch. You don't need a torch, do you? Oh, I see why it's happening. I see why it's happening. Cause the first torch is getting lit first. I like before the other ones, I understand. Why is this? Can you? <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. I, I need to do it quick then. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that quite a bit. I like that. Of course I'm here. Sure. I genuinely forgot about counting deaths anyway. It's been so long. <laughs> and, and yeah, Clarinet figured out one was lit before the other ones. And Disney says, I can count what is definitely a death for Link, even if it's not a game over, but like not including fairies and Mipha's grace, right? If Link physically perishes, either by, you know, we, we can even say, like, if he falls down an, into the abyss. You know those deaths where you're, like, in a shrine and you fall into, like, an, an endless pit? I think we can count those ones, too. Because, like, Link clearly died here this day. It's just not, you're not getting a game over screen for it. And then also the lava, and then obviously any actual deaths. But yeah, maybe, maybe still not count fairies? Maybe still not count fairies and maybe still not count Mifa's grace. But I mean, if we really like the problem with this is like we've already lost count at this point and somebody would need to go back through and count them. <laughs> I honestly, I, I could sit, I play games and I'll just have a stream up on my second monitor. I could put my own streams up and just p try to pay attention to the deaths. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll spend the next couple of weeks and try to figure out how many deaths we're up to. I don't know. The old thread is sitting at four. Four deaths? Hmm. I'm actually surprised you found that. Or falling in tar. Yeah, tar counts too. Anything, anything where Link goes like this. You know what I mean? Do you need to see it again? <laughs> anything where Link does that. Oh no, my wooden... My wooden sword is on fire. So this is the this is the thing that I was talking about earlier, that there's another mode of transportation around the Goron slash death area, death mountain area that I really love. Um, and it's this, it is this. So what you do is you, well, you know, I don't want to use this sword. What is expendable? Probably the stone smasher, but Do I want to keep it for mining purposes? Maybe. But let's just use it anyway. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna stasis the this. Oh no, that's still magnesis. Whoops. Uh stasis. Should I do it from here? here I need I need a good like. Is that gonna work? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the trumpets are just making fun of me at this point. It's like it's like my my theme song. It's just the lame trumpets. All right, I think this is a good good place to do this from. All right, so I'm gonna stasis. I'm gonna spin to win. Ah! Okay, and then I'm gonna get in quick. Whee! <laughs> is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Lame. Oh, don't go backward. No, wait, let me out. <laughs> that was lame. Come on. What else could I, Oh, can you do it from inside when you're when you're in it? Does that work too? Can you do it from the inside? Maybe. No. Oh, Death Mountain is so cool looking. I love this place. Clarinet guy says I'm going to head out. I'll try to hop on any of your streams. I see goodbye. Oh, thank you clarinet Please subscribe if you haven't friend. That's how you'll know that we're streaming is YouTube will hopefully send you some notifications It was wonderful to meet you friend. I had a lot of fun and I hope to see you again soon You have a good night 
Um, David says, your minecart needs more rockets and or fans. Oh, man. If only there was ever a way we could do something like that. Like, attach a rocket. Or like a fan to the back of it. But no. David, that's crazy talk. David, that is crazy talk. That will never... That's never gonna happen, David. <laughs> what a dumb thing for you to say, David. How stupid. What a dumb idea. Nobody would ever go for that kind of an idea, David. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna see if this works from, like, being inside of it. I think it does. I think this is something I have forgotten about. <laughs> Oh yeah, it does. It does work. Top speeds! My poor stone smasher. Please, go over the hump. Do it! We made it. Oh. We're pulling into the station. That was my my train sound. Did you guys like my train sound? Disney says Vinny round bombs. What do you mean round bombs? Wait. What do you mean round bombs? Are you serious? Are you serious? This is something you can do? No, I didn't forget how minecarts work, Disney. I just never knew you could do this. How do, doesn't this hurt Link, though? This doesn't hurt him if you do it this way. Also, do I want to stop it off at this station? They might have some Doritos. I don't know. Or maybe, in, like, in Japan, they have those little, like... Those little, like, packs of sushi that you can buy that are actually quite delicious. Die! Oh, maybe I should have taken a picture of him, actually. Are there any more around? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Or are you just alone in life? Look, I did him a favor. He had no family left. I'm pretty sure I've taken a picture of a fire choo-choo. I have not. Oh no! Stay back, fire choo-choo! No, can you be- can you be ignited? You're prettier that way. Oh yes. Oh look at that smolder! <laughs> oh look at that smolder! Uh, oh no, I thought I had a weapon! Die! <laughs> Disney says I said it earlier. I totally missed it. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but my live chat's been going off tonight. There have been a lot of people in here. See, look! Chris Walker is here! Hello, Chris! Chris is actually a friend IRL. So he is tech- and he's been in streams before. So he's technically new, but not new. Um, okay, Ig Igneo Peblet, that's what you're called, wait, no, oh god, I just, I want a good, I want a good, I want a good picture! Oh! Ugh! Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, however, you are currently on fire. I can't do anything about that with the Master Sword, and if I pick you up, you will burn me. Please go away. Do you ever, like... Just... No. Bomb. Stay. Ow! Are you serious? It just launched him into me! Why is he going over there? What's he doing? <laughs> Was he just, like, mourning the loss of his friend? Oh, that's so sad. Chris sa uh, So Chris says good train sound. Oh, you're too kind. Cause there's no- wait, where did my- Where did my train go? Excuse me? Oh my god, did I ignite the bomb and the train left without me? Is that what happened? Oh, say it ain't so. Well, luckily we have a new train that we can take. A much better train. It's been- it's built bigger, faster, stronger. Uh-oh, except- hold on, wait, I can't get in you and you're- Yeah, back up. So, Disney, does, is one bomb enough? Is one bomb all I need? <laughs> is that- is that enough? Do I have to stasis it? 
I don't know. I'm just going to try this. I trust you, Disney. Wait, the bomb needs to go behind. Wait, so are you telling me that this whole time I thought the boat, the bomb. Are you telling me the whole time? Oh, no, my, my, wait. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, wow. Well. We've been, you know what? We've been real pros at Death Mountain, I think. I don't think anybody's ever traversed this place as, as well as I have. I think just about every, everything that could go wrong has probably gone wrong. <laughs> there it goes, says Saber Guy. <laughs> Disney says, I did not realize you didn't know that. No, in fact, I didn't know that so much, Disney, that I always thought that the front of the minecart was the thing that you put the bomb in. I thought that that was just like a fun little aerodynamic design, you know? Which is hilarious because it, it's, not, it, it's not aerodynamic. It's made out of metal and air can pass through it. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I just thought that that was how it looked, you know? I didn't realize that was a special little compartment for bombs. Yeah, look at Nintendo. It, that's incredible, guys. I've beaten this game like four times. And and I didn't know that. Like, that is the simplest bit of information I think one could possibly know. And I just learned it here this day. In, tw in 2024. I don't know whether to be impressed by my, like ignorance or or saddened by it honestly oh i haven't gotten a picture of you hmm. maybe he won't see me hello come over and say hi to me ready hmm. stop jumping stop jumping stop it Ooh. does that count i love it perfect picture of a fire breath lazolfos i shall keep it <laughs> can you not though can can you really just leave me alone? Here. I'm going to I'm going to one shot you. It's going to be very sad, but it needs to happen. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> is one bomb ever enough bombs? One bomb is all I need. That's kind of like a Look at oh. That 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 was like a sex joke. If I need to spell it out for, for anybody, it was like a... You know, like, two minutes is all I need. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me rephrase that. You know, I'm sure you've heard that before. That's like... It's like a pretty commonly used joke in like a lot of things I've seen. Um, there is some mining to be done, although... I mean, basically... Oh my god. How close can you get to the Divine Beast? Honestly, I've never really tried. But there he is. God, he's so glorious. I love him. He's just climbing on the mountain. Like, honestly, he's just minding his own business. Uh, honestly, all of the Divine Beasts are just kind of minding their own business. And then everybody's like, no, they're a menace to society. Oh, so what? They, they kick up some dust storms and create desert storms. Oh, so what? You know, Rudania, like, occasionally launches meteorites at, at people. Oh, so what? Like, Ruta creates infinite torrential downpour and is flooding all of Hyrule. Oh, so what Mado like? Honestly, what is what is it even that Mado does? See, this is what I'm talking about. Mado is like the crappest divine beast. He doesn't even do anything bad. He doesn't like create snowstorms or anything. He just flies around menacingly and goes Grr! like occasionally. That's literally all he does. And he's so crap, he doesn't even flap his wings to fly. He just moves through the air like this. That's it. It's all that happens. <laughs> Mining his own business, one could say, says David. Oh, David. You've been hanging around these parts too, too long. Oh god, I missed. I missed! I think we need lots of those tails, so... It's good that we're at least getting some. 
I could have just teleported back to the city, but I did want to do some mining. But admittedly, we do need to kind of like, I don't know. Oh god, yeah, we're at two hours and, and 30 minutes. We need to get a boogie. Yes, I saw the lizard. I didn't see him, but... but how, ooh, how did I... Whoa, okay, stop it. <laughs> how did I like... Did you guys see me like climb up the mountain, but like with my bow drawn? That was weird. All right, you know what? I, I I have convinced myself to go back. We need to go back. We need to talk to Yunobo. Sandra saw the divine beast and said, and then Vinny died. <laughs> if I had tried to follow it, that could have been a very real possibility for me. And in fact, it may still yet be a possibility. Because this mini game that is coming up is historically not something that I'm ever good at, even on my best of days, and I'm really bad today. So let's let's recap what has happened to me today. I've blown myself up twice with bomb arrows. The first time was deliberate. The second time was a complete accident. I have fallen into lava pits three times. Is that right? I have set Link on fire just trying to come into this place, like literally set him ablaze. <laughs> I have also messed up in every possible way the minecart system, including making the minecart leave the station without me. Oh god, a blood moon. <gasps> we should do some cooking. Where's our cooking pot? Wait. Quick! Quick! Tell me where your cooking pot is. Where do I cook food in this place? Ah! <laughs> I think it's... Is it over here? Help! Oh, there it is! Why do I even want this? What do I possibly want to crit? Mighty bananas? We could make one of these. One, two, three, four. Can you guys hear the, the piano music? Do -do 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 -do. It's just gonna do that until I leave this menu. Uh goat butter? Sure. Buttered bananas. <laughs> The reason I'm doing this is because food always critically strikes when a blood moon is out, which means that this mighty simmered fruit was supposed to only last for about three or four minutes. And now actually it was supposed to last for four minutes and 40 seconds. And now it lasts for nine minutes and 40 seconds because you get a five minute like boost. Um, I don't need to cook a ton of these, but we'll cook a couple here. Iron shrooms. One, two, three, four. And also some butter. Where'd my butter go? We'll butter my mushroom. <laughs> mm, that's suspicious. <laughs> Saying butter my mushroom is a bit suspicious. Nine minutes and 40 seconds on a tough mushroom skewer. Don't mind if I do. I don't, I can't remember if overfill food like does anything. Does it give you extra overfill hearts? Maybe it does. Honestly, that's useful. I'm just gonna keep tossing some stuff in. We do need, you know, after all the food that we used today, we do need to make some of this stuff. So I'm okay with making a few. I'm okay. Oh, there we go. There's the blood moon. Link! The monsters are coming back to destroy your asshole! Once again. Or what it, yeah, blood moon rises once again. That's what I meant to say. Please, please be careful, Link. That's that's really what I meant to say there, not not the thing that I actually said. <laughs> uh I need to be hydrating more. The fact that Bill came in and literally opened up the Dr. Pepper can and poured it in is like a sign that like Vinny is Vinny's killing his body by not hydrating as much as he should. Like, honestly, I'm half expecting that by the time I'm 80 years old, I'm going to be, like, one of the wrinkliest old people on planet Earth. Because I will have not properly hydrated my skin throughout my lifetime. It's already happening. <laughs> it's already happening. Um, where is Yenobo? I see the Elder, but I don't see Yenobo. Ah, oh, it's the Tidy Traveler. Yenobo told me all about how you helped him, brother. There's a, here's a reward for you. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? <laughs> oh! I mean, that is... Look, I don't want to say it's useless, because I can actually... I could drink this and then wear my Barbarian set, which admittedly would be better. So, thanks. Thanks, sir. 
Okay then, well I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. I mean no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rudanya a good walloping... Daruk? Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk? The Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Okay, so it's not Darunia, it's actually a statue of Daruk. Good to know. Who are the other Goron with him then? Like, who's the. T is that supposed to be Yonobo? As the tiny one? I don't know. He has a little tuft of hair, if that's what that is. I don't know. piloting a toy like this around. Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. <laughs> so weird. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words. I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? Oh, God, Link just got... Dude, his spine has hey, to be broken by in way, half by that. Congrats on becoming the Jesus. princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Link is like, please don't hit me again. <laughs> Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? Wait, is this when it happened? Oh no, this is- wait, what is this? I mean, I know why we're seeing this, because they want to show that off. But why did a random rock All fall right. just happen? So what was I saying? Someone just tried to murder that you, sir. That was a little strange. Yeah. As far as I know. Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send down a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. Disney says if if you drink the fireproof elixir and wander around in your stealth set, you can farm fireproof lizards. Wait, what is the stealth set? <gasps> Do you mean the Sheikah armor? <laughs> What's gotten into you? Highly and sure are strange. Anyway, Yonobo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why the slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudanya. <laughs> That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudanya. Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Are you okay? Oh yeah, just peachy. Dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Oh, oh. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Okay. Y'all, you should really get that back checked out, sir. It- maybe y'all should stop slapping each other's backs. Is that like a Goron thing? Is that why your- your back is all messed up? Sheesh. <laughs> so I actually think there is a legitimate way that you can go up to this place. I could use Rivali's Gale. I should use Rivali's Gale. But I- A, I want to see if my memory is good enough uh, for me to find the actual way up, but B, there might be lizards on the way, and I want to actually try out Disney's idea. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll we'll drink these fireproof elixirs, and we're going to put on the Sheikah set. And oh no, please don't run me over. <laughs> uh, we're going to put this on, and then maybe we'll find some fireproof lizards on the way. Because we're going to need a lot of them to upgrade the... Uh, 
the Goron set. And in fact... Wait, have I taken a picture of an Octorok that sucks? Oh, I have. Okay. I have taken one. Eat that! I guess these respawned because of that Blood Moon, eh? <gasps> like there! There's one right there! Ooh, wonderful! Uh-oh, why? Wait, why is the... Why is this happening? Yo, Rudanya, chill! Chill, Rudanya! This didn't happen? Like, why is he suddenly so angry? And dragonflies? It's the stealth set and you know it. I- I rebuke you! Is that the right word? Rebuke? I rebuke you in your madness, Disney. I... 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other words. I... I shun... I shun your stealth set. I... I don't know. I need you, I need you to write into your arm with this magical quill. I must not tell lies, Disney. <laughs> 50 times with your own blood. That should teach her. Um, I really, I came up here cause I, I, well, I mean, I wanted lizards, but also I did think that there, is there a Korok up here? I think there's a Korok up here. Let's go check. Oh, there is a Korok. Mm hmm. I mean, look, do I need to be farming Korok? Not necessarily. I'm not really going after all 900 of them in this playthrough, but, um, you know, if I remember where one is, I should go get it. Right? This is technically leading me off in a direction I don't need to be going, but it's fine. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Oh man. I just, you know what I love about this area is like, it looks really great at nighttime because the lava, I mean, and it's not even, oh, it is nighttime, it's 3.30 a.m. Um, the lava just really lights up super bright at night. I just love that. I think that is gorgeous. I historically don't really tend to like lava areas in games. I find them to be ugly most of the time, but in this game, there's something about the lava in this particular game that's really beautiful. Um, so this is the bridge. This is the bridge where you're supposed to end up. I, you come out of this end of the tunnel, like we did, and then you go over here. So, yeah, that was a way up. Um, obviously you can just use Revali Scale, or you can climb, I mean, you can do anything in this game, whatever order you want to, or however you want to. But if you're trying to go like the legit way, quote unquote, then you take this bridge. Koroks are always nice. I mean, the thing is, is like, Pretty much, I'm mostly interested in upgrading for, like, more weapon space, like, melee weapon space, and I think the last upgrade took 25, so the next one's probably going to take at least 30, <laughs> and I don't think I'm anywhere even near 30. I don't think I'm anywhere even close to that. The mines normally have a good amount of lizards. That's true, they do. So, I mean, we should, we should find some. Now, the only thing that I find as a flaw with, with this plan, Disney, is I don't think I have enough elixirs to get me through the entire Divine Beast. So at some point I will have to switch back. But, and also I'm going to have to be drinking an elixir once every six minutes, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but I don't know. Didn't I see a sh I th could have sworn I saw a shrine up here. Was I hallucinating a shrine? Or maybe I saw the little lava thingies and I thought that was the top of a shrine? I don't know. But I clearly did not. And also, I thought Yanobo was this way, but I see no Yanobo. Can I read this? Death Mountain Marker number seven. The world-renowned refreshing Goron Hot Springs. I think these do actually heal you if you stand in them. They sure do. I think they only heal you up to full. They don't do overfill. Hello, sir. Who's there? Who's disturbing my morning bath? Hmm. A Hylian tourist, eh? How's the water? Ah, lukewarm. I like to relax in some really hot water. A lot hotter than this nonsense. But a Hylian like you should stay away from a place hotter than here. 
That goes double for the area past the Bridge of Elden. It's scorching there. <sighs> Never go near Rudania. Get too close and you'll be a pile of ashes before you know what, what hit you. <sighs> In any case, getting across the Bridge of Elden is impossible right now. The boss probably raised the bridge to keep Rudania from coming over here. Well, we are going to uh, raise that bridge then. Look! Is this our first Goron kid that we've seen? Oh my god, I love them! Look at him! <laughs> he, he's just sleeping. His name is Dugby. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're, they're really, honestly, I just, I love, I love all of the NPCs in this game. They all have such huge personalities, but... The little Rito and Zora and Goron kids and stuff, they're just, I don't know, it's so cute watching them run around and be little be little assholes, you know? Because <laughs> that's, that's basically what kids are, they just run around and be little assholes all day, but they're at least cute doing it, right? They're at least cute. I thought I was going the right- I'm not! I'm supposed to- oh, I took a- I- I bobbed when I should have weaved. Oh no, I took a wrong turn. I took a wrong turn. Well, is there a Korok up here? <laughs> Let's just pretend we came over here to get a Korok or something. And then suddenly, suddenly this is not a mistake. I meant to be here. You know what is nice about the Death Mountain region too is there's no rain. So you can never slide down a fucking mountain. Hmm. Hmm. Where am- wait, where am I supposed to be going? Wait, maybe that isn't the way. Am I going the- am I going the right way? Oh, it's- it literally has marked it on my map. Okay, I am- wait a minute, I am going the right way. It's just a lot- honestly, it's a lot further than I remember it being. And yes, I see my flame guard is about to extinguish. Three, two, one, ugh. Okay, fine. Mmm, sure. We could try to make an elixir of our own. That would be like, like we could make a 30 minute long elixir with like a dragon horn if I wanted to spend one. I don't really, but I could. And, and maybe taking this weird up part way means I won't find any lizard. Should I be just going down like normal? But if I go down like normal, then all of the enemies will be down there. But also there is mining to be done. Also, I could have taken, I could have taken a, a mine cart. I don't know. I guess we'll go. We'll we'll do it this way. I I do need loot, so you know it's. Oops, I missed entirely there. Oh god, I need to loot this stuff before it burns. Wait, die, keys. God, Rudania, you're sort of giving me the impression that you don't want me to be here. <laughs> oh no, my sledgehammer. Okay, you know to be fair, I shouldn't have been using it to kill enemies. But it's fine. Sledgehammer, to my knowledge, has higher durability, or I should say reduced durability usage when you hit rocks with it. That's something that the official guide says anyway. I don't know if there's truth to that or if it just has a lot of durability in general. But I think, at least according to the official guide, they said that it, it takes less durability loss when you hit rocks with it. That's sort of why I always try to use sledgehammers for mining, but also I just use the, the master sword for mining as well. Because, <laughs> you know, it comes back. It, you never can truly lose the master sword once you get it, which is kind of a comforting thought. No, definitely do what works best for you, just making suggestions. That's cool. I, I appreciate suggestions. For the most part. Ah, uh, someone please help me! Okay, are these black moblins? They are, and apparently we've taken pictures of them already. Okay, well, in that case, I don't need to be sneaky. Let's go ahead and put on, yeah, our barbarian armor. God, this poor barbarian chest plate is like two ranks below the other two pieces. <laughs> we do, we should probably show it some love eventually. Hello, sir. Oh, you missed. 
Oh, 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 you're getting so destroyed. Tank. Oh, he, he died. Oh, wow. You're kind of awful, actually. You're trying to kick me and you keep missing and... Oh, no, my bacoblin or my moblin gut. Wait. You know, Bo, I wanted to loot stuff. Wow, you're crazy strong, Goro. You saved me once again. Okay, yeah, but I need this stuff quick. Oh, no. Got it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. Uh, still no sign of boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? Huh? Not coming? But why, Goro? His back hurts. Ooh. After we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro? Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Mm. Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rudanya. Huh? What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? Who do you think you are, Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Mm. Though I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Oh. Mm, well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Oh. The problem is, good old boss has raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. In order to get to where Rudanya is, we'll have to find a way to get to the Bridge of Elden back down back down, Goro. Wait, this sort of insinuates that the Divine Beast can't go in lava, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he can go in lava, though. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Oh, we can't get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh. oh, it occurs to me that you know how to use cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball and you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My ancestors can't possibly fail me. Or ancestors help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says, so it's just got to be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. <laughs> so yeah, he literally goes into the cannon. Literally into the cannon. And then you do what you always do with the cannons. You load up a bomb and then you hit this thing and it turns the cannon and then you fire him. We did it. See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, Anything is possible. <laughs> that power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. So let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. <laughs> Are you sure you don't have a concussion now, sir? So this is the beginning of... Well, this is this div Divine Beast's quote-unquote minigame. And I will just say that I don't really love this one. I, I don't really love this one. This is my... It is not my least favorite. My least favorite still goes to Divine Beast Vonaboris's. I absolutely abhor that, that minigame that you have to play with that one. But this is a close second. And it's less about the... Uh, it is, it is sort it can be difficult, but it's less about the difficulty and more about the fact that it's just kind of, it's, I don't want to say it's boring, but you'll see. It's like a stealth bit. It's sort of like a stealth section, and it feels incredibly long when you're doing it. So I'm going to try to do it fast if I can, if I can manage it. So glorious. Disney says it's a pain in the neck is what it is. Okay, 
Yes. Yeah. To be to be blunt about it, it's awful. <laughs> He's gonna send out all of these little. They're not even flying. They're flying guardians, but they're not the big ones. They're tiny little flying guardian. We'll call them guardian scouts. I don't know. They probably have a name. I'll I'll take a picture of them, and we'll find out. But they they do this. They like send down a beam of light, and if you get caught in the light. Then Rudania gets alerted to your presence and he launches meteors at you. Oh, yikes! A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Rudania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. <laughs> I always get spotted and then magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think you'd be able to do that, Goro, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best idea for you is to give me a signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Got any ideas? A wink? A whistle? Mind powers! I've never said either of these before. A wink. A wink? Um... Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to see that from way off in the distance, Goro. Try to think of something better. Mm. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be. Mind powers! Huh? Mind powers? Wow, you mean like real life telepathy? I didn't know you Hylians could do that sort of thing these days. What do you mean these days? Are you transmitting yet, Goro? What the? I'm not receiving anything over here. All right, we have to use a whistle, obviously. Huh? A whistle? Oh, that's a great idea, Goro. When I hear you whis whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Mm. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Mm. Okay, then. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. So you have to get yourself and Yonobo up here. And oh god, what's burning? Oh, Link is burning. Wait, why is Link burning? Do you have... Oh my god. The the flame guard is not enough, Diz. Oh yeah, because look at that. It only gives you... It, it only gives you one level of it. Didn't I, have, didn't I have like a high level? Maybe I don't. Oh shoot. So you actually do need... You need at least one piece of this gear. Why don't we just go ahead and wear it then? It has no defense on it. It scares me a bit. Well, we can keep one piece on, right? I could wear this. That looks super... Well, okay, it doesn't look as strange as I thought it was going to look, but... Yeah. Yeah, that works. And that also means that I still have a little bit of defense, which makes me feel ever so slightly better. Mind powers? Do we have tadpoles? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, no, we're, we're not going that way, you know, Bo. Sorry. Yeah, so, like, you know, Bo's section is annoying because it takes a while. First of all, it's not, a sh it's not like what I would call short. You can get caught, like, relatively easily. And if you do get caught, like, is this going to come all the way? Okay, no, it stops there. Um, here, why don't you actually... You stay there. Stay there. Because um, I want to come over here and actually take a picture of this thing. Oh, so these are just called sentries. Eh. It's an okay picture. I... God, I really... I really have issues with pictures not, like... Mm. Technically... I don't know. Is that better or worse? It's still not centered. That's the issue that I have with it. It's not centered, but... <laughs> uh, we'll go with the first one. I don't know. They're both kind of crap, but... You can shoot these, can you not? I know you can shoot them, but you also, if I remember, there are, like, some metal blocks where you can, like, deal with them that way. But can you just shoot them? Oh, I missed. I, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Is ice even the appropriate thing to use here? I don't know. Okay, can you stop for a moment? Oh, you can hit them, but this is not doing much damage. At all. Okay, wait. Ooh, ooh, stop, 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 stop. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I'm noticing that it's not like... It's not alerting it to my presence, though. So you can kill them. Do they take, like, more damage if you hit them in the little eye underneath? Is that even what that is? I don't know. Let's try. 
Not really. Honestly, I also say it's... I know you can kill them with bombs, can't you? Are they, like, weak to bombs? I'm just not gonna be able to get a bomb up there. You know where I could get a bomb, though? Ooh, hold on. I could do it this way. I just wanna see... I feel like... I remember bombs working a lot better. Let's see. Let's see how right I am. I mean, it was at about half health, right? So, it was at least better than the arrows were, were being. Alright, you know, Bo, come on. Okay. So, the idea here is you either have to skirt around these things. Like, you could technically just come in here with him and then wait for it to move past you. That is a thing that you can do. Um, I probably should have just done that with this one, but I will say that ones that are coming up, you cannot just sneak around so easily. You will have to actually kill them or deal with them in some way. That being said, though, these ones are... Th there's an easy way to deal with them. And it's... you gotta, you gotta kind of come up here, usually to the, like, the above section. And if I'm correct... Well... Normally they have, like, metal... metal stuff up here. I think what they want you to do with this one is roll the ball down, the boulder. Oh my god! A diamond, two rubies, and a topaz? Wow. Kinda crazy. Okay, so yeah. You can just roll a boulder onto that one. That's... that's not too bad. Uh, Yonobu, can you get past this? Can he get past this? No, he can't. Wait up! Yeah, I know. He's... I, I know. I know you're confused. I... I'm aware. I'm gonna try to get rid of it. I don't know if this is gonna work, though. And I feel a little bit like I'm gonna get hit by it somehow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Surprised that didn't take Yonobo with it, honestly. Alright. I don't know, maybe this won't take as long as I remember it taking. Aren't there three cannons, though? We're just now getting to the first cannon. So yeah, this is probably gonna take a while. Damn it. This stupid minigame. They- they could've- I don't know. They could've made it shorter, at least. Uh... So you want you wanna launch him at Rudanya. That's what we're gonna try to achieve here. There we go. One hit. It's gonna piss him off. <laughs> and then he should start moving. I don't know why we're trying to get him to move, either. Like... What? I mean, really are- I don't- I guess you're trying to get him to go back into the center of the volcano, but how do they know that that's what he's gonna do, you know? We did it, Goro! If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Rudanya! Dude, this guy is gonna have serious head trauma after all of this. Serious, serious head trauma. He was doing a little what- what do I do Sims dance? Oh yeah, he was, wasn't he? The Sims always get all confused when they don't know, like, how they get out of a place or into a place, and they kind of, like, they just, they run around like little ants all confused, like, when they don't know what to do, you know? All right, you stay here. I think I gotta go up here again. And then, sure enough, metal blocks. This is what I was remembering. Okay, so there's two of these guys, and I think you can literally- you don't even need to drop it, you can literally just, like... Oh, well that usually works. And now I've lost it. Dang it! How do I do this? I thought there was a way to do it. Yeah, like that. You can bump it into them from the side. But I think you gotta kind of relatively be doing it at, like, a... You gotta be swinging it around. It can't just casually bump, you know? There's gonna be a little bit of force behind it. So, like, boy, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, I'm gonna keep this just in case I need it. Oh, I don't. There's another one. Well, I don't know. I, I could drop it and then need it. Oh. Well, that's all the way. You know what? You know, Bo? Are you able to. Are you able to get through, you know, Bo? Can he. Oh, he couldn't hear me? He's that far away, really? You know, Bo! <laughs> See, that's another reason why this is annoying, because he just... 
It feels like babysitting. I don't know. It just feels like you gotta babysit, you know, Bo. He's like, su he's like super helpless. I mean, yes, he does help out by launching himself at, at Rudania. Sure. But it's about the only thing he oh. does to help. This is why he's the himbo. I think his intelligence modifier is a negative number. Sweet boy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're on to something. He's got, he's got that super high strength and like... Hell, maybe even charisma and uh, and uh, constitution stat, but he his his intelligence modifier is super low. Um, I want this lizard that I see. I'm gonna very quickly do this. Go 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 go. Okay, that actually worked. Wow, color me surprised. Uh, except I don't want that piece. I want this piece. Yeah. Okay, so how do I get rid of you? Can I just throw a bomb at this one? Yep. Oh yeah, so bombs just one-shot them. Interesting. So if you want to one-shot them, you can just throw bombs at them, I guess. Oh my god, they're, they're throwing materials at us. Like, I'm not gonna be hurting for money. Like, I'll... Uh, like, like I said, really, the only sets... I can only think of a couple of sets that we need to buy, and that's really all about we have... That's about all we have left to spend our money on. And I think we might already have enough gemstones to just afford that... those couple of sets anyway, so... Thank you, thank you, Death Mountain, for being so generous with your mining capabilities. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Um... Here, why don't we, uh... Why don't we use our fro actually let's let's use our frost sword. Can I do that? Here. Ah! No! Uh I don't really want to use my super good weapons, but then again, I'm it's we're getting to the point where all of my weapons are kind of super good. Wait, whoa, you broke out of that like instantly. <gasps> Can you not freeze things in here? You know what? Get rid of your weapon. Bad. You're not allowed to have weapons. Uh, I'll hit you with this then. Oh, that got a little scary. Like, I, I didn't... So, like, he didn't stay frozen for very long. Like, at all. Um. Oh, no. Okay, that was the wrong... That was the wrong button I pressed. There we go. Everyone needs a dump stat. <laughs> Wait, did I miss? How was that a miss? You know, but you get back in there. <laughs> you get back in there, you know, Bo. I don't know why that counted as a miss. Disney says you're on a volcano, Vinny. I wouldn't think the ice trick would work. Get out of here with your realism in this video game. <laughs> <laughs> this this video game that like really has a lot of things in it that are based on realism. <laughs> we did it. Direct it, Goro. And thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit, Goro. My ancestor came through for me. If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. Right, I think we have one more of these to go. Thank God. Thank God. God, we only have one more of these to go. Honestly, it's real. Look, I've, I've complained about it a lot. It's not as bad as I've been complaining. But I still like it very much. Uh, you know, Bo, why don't you stay there? Because I don't really know where these things are going to stop. Oh, God, that one's guarding so many things to mine. Uh, you know what? Let go. Let go, Link. We're going up. No, stop it. <laughs> Link, he insists on climbing that mountain. We're going up to this one. Wait. I think. Is there is there something up here to help me? I guess maybe this is a throw bombs down. This is gonna be a throw bombs down. I think. Oh, and he's he's doing the spinny spins. Okay, that one died. You know, it's funny that when you attack one, they don't like it they only trigger if you go into the beam of light if you're if you attack it though it doesn't seem to get alerted to your presence which is kind of weird actually 
You'd think that their defense systems and like alarm systems would go off if they're being vandalized, but I guess not. Uh, sledgehammer. Mmm, all the delicious monies. All right, Inobo. What do you mean he can't hear me? Oh, you know, Bo. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm just looking up there and seeing those three. Those three. What are they? What were they called? I can't remember. Scouts. Something. Oh, my God. So many lizards. So many. I'm going to see if I can get them just by crouching. I can. So many lizards. You know, Bo? You're, you're kind of, you're being a little loud and distract, like, distracting back there. It's a good thing you didn't scare my, my prey away from me. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use up my last charge of Volley's Gale to get over here. Um, and then we've got some more of the metal blocks, and we'll just use these to finish off these, the rest of them. The three that are left. Uh, what buttons do I press to play this video game? Ah, yes, those ones. Oh god, is this gonna be easy? Oh no, depth perception. I'll just swing it wildly. What? Oh, dang it, Sheikah Slate! If you press down on the Joy-Con, like, joysticks, it, it's actually a button. And that's what happened there, and it, it was very unfortunate. Nice! Ooh. There's nothing up here, right? Like, no no treasure chests or anything. I don't know why they would hide one up here, of all places, but... Alright, you know, Bo! Can you hear me from here? Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? I, wait, did he hear me? Oh, he did hear me. Okay. I was like, the game didn't tell me he couldn't hear me, but he's not coming. Oh, they're called sentries. Yes, that's what they're called. Aren't we done? Oh, I think- oh yeah, we just have these- these enemies up here to kill. Okay, uh... You know what? I'll use- I'll use a Lizzle Spear on you. It's only 18 damage, but it- it pokes really fast. Hoi yeah! Ow. Oh, actually not ow. You missed me. Oh god, this is a crap weapon! Ah! <laughs> My face! Quick! Oh no, you're gonna- dee dee. Ow. Okay, look, I- Yes, I could be dodging. I'm not super good at dodging in this game, don't you judge me. Oh, wait! Oh, except maybe I am super good! Oh, I'm super amazing! Oh, oh. Y you know, Mo, why are you not helping me, sir? You're being of very little actual help to me. You know, it would be really good if we actually broke the Master Sword so that it would be ready for the boss. Can I- can I do this? What can I break this on? Yunobo, can I hit you with it? Wait, why? Why is this not working? Can I hit weapons with it? Really? Well, I think- you know, I could probably break it on the- Well, I could break it on this, maybe. Really? Oh, look at this super realistic game, Disney. Look at all these clearly metal objects that I can't break the Master Sword on for some reason. What the heck? I guess it's gotta be this. <laughs> I guess it's gonna have to be this. Alright, fine. <laughs> Wait, is this not taking durability? You're kidding me. You're kidding me! This doesn't take durability from your weapon? Fine. You win, game. You win. Kinda wild that Nintendo just added the click the trigger button on the Switch. They've existed since the PS2. You say just, David, as if the Switch is not seven or eight years old at this point. Seven or- this game is like eight years old, David. Do you feel old now? And poor Yunobo gets so scared by the enemies. He is a big scaredy cat. Doesn't he? He kind of gets braver in the second game, from what I remember. Oh, 
All right. Oh my god! Dude, Link would just be dead. That's not- that is literally not how lava works. Lava doesn't just disappear into thin air. That was so cool! That is you not really how- put a licking on that thing, Link! It's time to finish the job! This is our big chance! Here we go. He doesn't come with, right? Pretty sure he doesn't come with. Yeah, yeah, he's too scared. He doesn't come with. Seven years as of, like, now. No, I felt old at work today when my co-workers said they were too young to get those chain emails that were all forward to your friends or else. They've never gotten those before? Oh my god. But those exist on social media, though. I see that stuff on social media, so they're lying to you. Don't let them let you feel like you're an old man, David, even if it is true. This moment of casually diving into an active volcano is amazing. I just, I would like to point out that that volcano literally erupted and somehow Link didn't die. Like, the, it was like the lava like dissipated in the air, like in thin air. And that is not how lava works. That is not how it works. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! All right, we are about to head into my personal favorite divine beast. And yes, I have been like very vocally like saying how much I love this divine beast and, and how it looks and how cool it looks walking around on the mountain. But that's not really why I love this divine beast. I mean, it is, but it's there's more. But wait, there's more. And you're about to find out right now. This is why I love this divine beast. When we were in Typhlo Ruins, I mentioned that there was another place in this game that uses the darkness mechanic, and welcome. It is actually Divine Beast Varudanya. A big portion of this Divine Beast is in pitch darkness, and you have to basically go off of using, you know, things to light your way, or little clues, and like in this case, the Ganon Goop, thank goodness for us, also glows. Like, pretty cool actually, I might try to get, you know, let's get a good... I know we already have a good picture of those eyeballs, but I would like, I would like one in the darkness if I can get one. I want it to look kind of like right at me though. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. Unfortunately, you cannot add those things to the Hyrule Compendium, so. <gasps> I just realized I don't have a torch. Oh shoot, I hope there's a torch in here. Do they give you a torch in this place? <laughs> oh no! Oh, I didn't really think this through, did I? I thought- th I, I even remember telling people that I, I thought they gave us a torch here. In, in this Divine Beast, but maybe they don't. I still have the, the sword, don't I? I may have to use it. Alright, we may be using that. I can just slash this, right? Ow. Oh, am I in the goop? Dragon Bone Boko Club, okay. I don't really I don't really think I need one of those, but thank you. This, this is one of those things, too, where, like, I gotta really pay attention to this Divine Beast, because it's so easy to miss stuff. <gasps> a torch! Oh, no. See, we actually need that and not the stupid Boko... Go, get, get away, Boko Club. Give me torch. And, in fact, this torch has durability up plus, which is, like, the second level of durability increase. So, this torch should last me quite a while. There we go. 
Oh, wonderful. Okay, so let's like, let's take a little gander around. Uh-huh. Yep, I'm remembering. Okay, so you don't have to use the blue fire for, for this, but you can. Um, I think I can do that. No, no I cannot. Um, well in that case I'll use regular fire, I suppose. There's, there's that stuff up there. That'll burn away. And then that'll burn away, and then I can open up this... Wait. Oh! Oh, weird. Oh, why does that do that? You can't tell that it's magnesisable unless you get real close. Oh, that's... Rivali's Gale is now ready. Kinda weird. Oh no! Why are you closing, door? Stay open. I don't know why it's closing on me. So yeah, we haven't even gotten the main terminal map yet, and I've already found one of the, the things. Sheikah Slate authenticated. There are more terminals remaining. That's the way. I've already found one of the terminals. Hilariously enough. Uh, I cannot see a damned thing though, so give me my flame. There is technically like a better order I could be doing this in, but this is so much more fun. Here, let's light that on fire. Where's that going to? Chest? Ooh! I- whoa! I- they tried to kill me. Murder was attempted here this day. An ancient gear? Oh yeah, that was definitely murder. <laughs> there is no reason I would want something as cramp as an ancient gear. That chest only exists to kill me. You're a depths enjoyer, aren't you? Says David. Oh! David, every time I think of Tears of the Kingdom, literally every time I think of it, I just think of how badly I want to go back down into the, into the depths. Does that answer your question? I think that probably answers your question sufficiently. This, hold on. This moment of casual, oh no, I already read that. You're a depths enjoyer, aren't you? You already read that. Disney says, oh, I hate the darkness. It took me too long to activate all the night lights. And this dungeon was really fun, but I hate the darkness. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think I love it because it's just so pretty. Like, look at how pretty everything, like even that little gar crap guardian scout is just like, it's pretty. It's pretty dead, actually. It's pretty on fire, actually. That guardian scout is lit. <laughs> As the kids would say these days. Uh, I think... There should be like another... Oh no! Oh no, it's the maw! Oh god, okay, well, di die. Can you also die? Oh god, it's the maw! Look, ma! Look, pa! I'm in Divine Beast Rudonia! Royal Bow? I don't know why I want that game. Can I have useful things, please? Uh -huh. uh, I was like, I vaguely remember there being something on the roof. Although... What did that do? Oh, that was weird. The whole place, like, lit up for a second. Oh, there's another one over there. I Maybe I should be using regular arrows. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should. Sure! I don't know what that did. Did something. Huh. Huh, gimme. I just, I vaguely remember there being, oh god, oh. Oh my god. So many eyeballs to kill. <laughs> I'm assuming these are all going to, to help me by doing things and releasing stuff from... Ganon's goopy grasp, but oh. oh god, there's another one! Yep. I swear at some point we are gonna be able to see things again. I promise. Oh no. Is it this? Oh god. I- I lo- ooh. I lost my way for a second. Oh, nice. So they're giving us arrows, which is at least nice of them. I don't know, I like this little- it, you know, because it- it requires you to use the torch and kind of like, you know, explore. 
and like actually navigate, you know, your way around. It's just, I don't know, there's something very, at there's something very atmospheric about this. I think that's the reason I really like it so much. It's just the atmosphere, you know? The immersion. Not like the immer- Actually, when you say immersion cooker, it's immersion, like with an E, right? And immersion is like with an I. They're not- they can't be the same thing. Shika Slate Authenticated Distilling Map of Divine Beast. <laughs> See, I love how that just like appears out of the darkness. Now, unfortunately, I think by doing this, unless I'm mistaken, I think by doing this, my favorite thing about this Divine Beast is going to go away very quickly. But there it is. There's the, there's the map. There are only two little notches. We can only change this thing back and forth to two different settings. So actually, it's the, it's the Divine Beast you can technically move the least, but in my opinion, it is one of the best Divine Beasts in terms of, like, how the movement changes the dungeon. You'll see. And when I first did this Divine Beast seven years ago on Twitch... Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. I could not for the life of me figure out that you could even move the Divine Beast, because this was my first one, and I didn't know that there was an option on the map to move it. So I ran around this place forever not knowing what to do. control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. Do you mean an immersion blender? There's no such thing as an immersion cooker. I don't know, maybe. And immersion with an E isn't a word? Really? Hmm. Disney says, I hate the things that jump out of the darkness. The big scary things in the depths actually terrify me, but I don't want to get into that. Oh, I love the depths. We're going to have so much fun when to we get there. Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. Okay, yeah, I we know this, we, we know how this works. Daruk, we got it. Oh, no. No, close them back up. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the top of the Divine Beast opens up and then all the darkness goes away. So you really, like, the, my favorite thing about this Divine Beast really is a, quite a small fraction of the Divine Beast itself, unfortunately. <laughs> it's, it's, quite, it's quite a small portion of what you actually do in here, so... That's sad, that makes me sad, but it is what it is. Uh, and there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. But, um, I'm already trying to think if I should turn... No, I need to be on that before I turn the Divine Beast, I think. I love the floor and and wall masters. Oh. The There is there is a notorious enemy in that game that appears that tries to we'll say grab Link. And then it sort of turns into a boss fight and I won't say anything more about it cuz I don't want to spoil it, but when I first came across that particular enemy, it was like legitimately very terrifying. Like, I was so scared. <laughs> but it's it's honestly really cool. It's it's a really cool thing. And so I think you're just supposed to shoot, like, a blue arrow through here. Yeah. The version in Ocarina of Time is the version I love. Oh god, that's the scariest one! <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Tears of the Kingdoms is pretty scary, though. If that's... If, if we're calling those things the same thing as that, which technically... They're different, though. Technically, they're different, but but similar, but different. But yes, Ocarina of Times are very terrifying. David says they jump scare me like 70% of the time. Yeah, you never really expect it to appear either. That's why that's why the one in Tears of the Kingdom is so horrifying. Um, so admittedly, I almost never remember how to actually do this puzzle. Let's, uh, we'll take a gander around. Well, okay. Uh, actually, I don't want to be underneath this when this falls. I think a metal block is in there. Sure is. So, this puzzle always super confuses me because... I don't know, I think it has... Oh, doesn't it have something... I have to turn the Divine Beast? Is that what it is? Like, put the block in and... But what would turning it even do? 
Oh <laughs> god. Link, you would have probably just died if this were real life. Good enough? Good enough for me. Why don't we turn the Divine Beast? So he's essentially, I think what's happening here is he's crawling up like a wall. Wait, why didn't that work? Do it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this makes sense. Okay, I guess this does make sense. This is how you get in. Okay, but then I have to tilt him back. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so that's actually easier than- For some reason, I remember being stuck on that for a long time, and it's, it's really quite simple. Saberkite says there's a certain horror aspect to Legend of Zelda games, I feel. I think you're right. But it's sort of like surprise horror, kind of like... Ha uh, Saberkite, have you ever played or watched anybody play uh, Subnautica? That game disguises itself as an underwater survival game, but really, it's, it's just a horror game. <laughs> it's so incredibly scary, and we played it on the channel. Um, Y'all should watch my series. It was really fun. Disney was actually there for that one. Uh, we had a lot of fun. That's also the one where I banned the 10 year old kid for spoiling things. <laughs> there are three terminals. Oh, remaining. God. Good times. All right. Let's get moving. Good times. Good bands. <laughs> good ingredients. Good pizza. Papa John's. Oh, man. I used to love Papa John's. I hate it now. I mean, not just because I can't have it because I'm lactose intolerant, but I think the sauce is way too sweet. It's just way too sweet. Like, who makes... who makes pizza sauce that tastes like sugar? Actually, I think there probably is real sugar in that pizza sauce. I think that is actually... that's probably an ingredient. Um, okay, I see a ball hole. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, I know I know where we get the ball from. Okay, it, that's that's for not right now. That's for like a little later. Uh, I'm gonna go back in here just to make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't think I have. Okay, doors, can you not close, please? Alright, so I think this section is good. Should be good to like move on. To the great beyond. Okay, I think. I want to be right here, and then turn the Divine Beast. So, this is kind of what I'm talking about though, this Divine Beast only has two notches, two ways you can manipulate it, but it really changes the way the dungeon feels. Like, now we are literally like, the dungeon is turned completely on its side, and suddenly the center room is just different in the way it works. It's actually quite simple and yet ingenious. Um, isn't the- wait, the ball's up here. There should be a ball up here somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, Torch. I need you to be- I need you to survive. Okay, ball. Ball. Can I finagle this from- like, go down? I have to go down there? Ugh. Wait a minute, I need blue fire for this. Oh my god, I need blue fire. How do I get blue fire? Up here. How the heck do I get blue fire up here? Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Okay, I think we need to go over here. Oh. Oh, it's this room. Oh, we're back in here. Oh my, see how... Do you see how this connects, though, when it's turned on its side? Like, this is... Like, this is top tier, like, design, honestly, the way that this works. This is, like, top tier design. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this flame all the way up here. Hopefully it will not extinguish. I don't think it does. I think the blue fire in general, whenever you use it in places, it, it stays longer than regular fire. Plus, this torch has, like, high durability up or whatever. Um, I'm a little afraid of this, but we're going to turn the Divine Beast again. Oh no, oh no, oh yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Ball. <laughs> oh, the fire, wait, my, th the, no. Oh God, get away from me, you hideous creature. 
Uh, I need to turn it again. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ooh, it makes me so nervous. Quick, Link. Oh, God, get back. Just get inside. Just get inside, dear God. Oh, look, it's the ball. Oh, let's race it. Oh, the ball wins. Um, okay. Lift. Ball goes in. Ball goes in. Yeah. Honestly, that was a tricky one the first time I did it, and I'm very proud at how quickly I picked it back up. I picked that one right back up. Wait. Oh, oh, here it is. I was like, where's the thing? Disney says Subnautica is cool, but pretty horrifying if you have a thing about large bodies of water. Me. It's me. Yeah, also me, Disney, and I played it. <laughs> Honestly, I love telling this story, but the first time I played Subnautica, it was not on the channel, it was on my own. And I remember being so viscerably scared by just, like, I you, you go outside up on top of the, um, the, uh... The, the, sa the safety pod? What the hell is it called? <laughs> the something pod. The life pod. <laughs> you go on top of the life pod, like you open up the hatch and it goes psh, and then you like leave and you, you exit it. And your character, like there's a big cinematic, cinematic moment where you like just look around and you're surrounded by nothing but water. It's just water for miles and miles. And then of course like your giant crashed ship off in the distance. And I remember it took me literally a good five minutes before I could work up the courage to like dive into the water. I was so terrified. Like I, I do, I don't go it like when we go to beaches and stuff, I do not go into the water. I have been in the water, but as I've gotten older, I've actually gotten like worse at going in. Like I've gotten more afraid of it. Sheikah Slate authenticated. There are two terminals remaining, just a little more. David says, when you reach the edge of the map and the game goes all, are you sure you want to do this? And obviously you do. Yeah, like, like you're, you're, uh, I almost said Sheikah Slate. Um, oh God, what is it called? Your Altera, your little Altera lady. You know, she tells you all of your things. She has a name. I can't remember what it is. Um, she literally says something like, <laughs> like, we have detected multiple large leviathan class creatures in the area are you sure what you're doing is worth it <laughs> like literally says something like that and you're like uh not anymore <laughs> oh god all right so we have two terminals remaining do i have to tilt i think i have to tilt to get back out of here uh yep okay so i think one of them might still be inside. Actually, I know one of them is inside because it's right there. The other one, though, might actually be outside. Uh, but this one's really easy. I actually could have done this one first, and I just kind of forgot that it existed. So we'll go ahead and do this here. I would also like to point out that Link is not super hot in this place, so you can wear technically whatever armor you want to. Um, it's not really going to help you all that much because there aren't really... Like, enemies that can be one-shot anyway don't typically need, you know, you don't need attack up stuff or, or anything like that. Um, Alright, that one's pretty simple. Disney says the Dam Reaper Leviathans. <laughs> yeah, and Saber Kite says, Oh yeah, large bodies of water are quite scary. I love the beach, but when I'm there at night, it's quite different. Oh my god, dark deep water at night? No. Can you, can you just imagine being on like a little fishing boat? Like a tiny little fishing, you know, dinghy, you know, wooden boat in the middle of the ocean at night with no lights. Like you can't see anything except maybe the stars and the moon above you and just dark, dark, black water all around you. Just one terminal remaining. That's like just a night. Dude, I'm going to have a nightmare about that tonight now. Just you wait. I'm going to have a total nightmare about that. I'm gonna be like, Thanks, brain. Why'd you have to think that one up? All right, I'm gonna do this so that I can get back on the floor. And I think we need to go to the top of the Divine Beast for the last one, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's on the it's on the spine. So we need to go out there. Honestly, this Divine Beast took a very long time when I first did it. Cause again, I didn't even know about the map thing until an hour into it. But um, it's going by pretty quick now cause I kind of know what I'm doing. 
I mean, like most of the game. Honestly, if the game took the same amount of time that it did the first time I played it on my subsequent playthroughs, that would maybe be kind of a sad thing. Um, but here we are, we're on top of it now. It is glorious, it is also- it is hot up here, so... And every- I don't know if I've shown this, but every arrow becomes a fire arrow when you shoot it in the, the Death Mountain area. Well, not every arrow, but at least wooden arrows do. Okay, so... I've destroyed that. Is that just to allow me to get up to the spine? Probably. I'm always really paranoid about these divine beasts as well because of the secret chests. Like, they don't just have one. <laughs> there are lots of chests in these things and I... Honestly, even to this day, I'm not 100% sure if I've ever got- like, there could be a chest somewhere that I have missed in- in some Divine Beast. Okay, I see an eyeball there, I'm just gonna kill it while I can. And then I'm going to- oh no, what am I going to do here? Can I jump over this little wall? Oh? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Scary. You don't want to fall here, Link. You do not want to fall here, Link. That would be unfortunate. Oh my god. And also, the thing about the- like, the reason I kind of inch along like this is because the Joy-Con goes crazy. You, like, touch it even a little bit and Link just, like, flies away. <laughs> so, you- you know, you gotta be very careful with stuff like this. So I think actually... well... What was that thing that we killed on the other side of the spine? What did that uncover? I killed, like, another eyeball over here, but I don't see... Did that, like, drop a chest or something? <laughs> well, if it did, it's probably gone now. Honestly, it could have drop a, dropped a chest, but it's gone now. Oh, this, though. We need this. Saberkite says, I have also gone into an underground river. Total darkness in the middle of the day. Oh my god, you're brave. Whoa, Saberkite's super brave. Chica Slate authenticated. Nice! That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control unit. Disney says that sounds scary. I listened to a spooky podcast and one of the episodes talked about someone going missing while spelunking. Large bodies of water mixed with dark caves? I don't think so. Yeah, agree, agree, no way. Data says the entire community of spelunking is wild, like handmade cobbled together stuff to go diving for indefinite periods of time inside a flooded cave. Crazy. They're all crazy. And like, no, I was gonna say in a good way, but no, <laughs> no. They're just crazy. I'm sorry, but y'all are nuts. Y'all are nuts, spelunking community. <laughs> Disney says, those people are more than just adrenaline junkies. They may have a death wish. Yeah! <laughs> there should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Okay. Stay focused, little guy. I'm trying, but I have ADHD. Saberkite says, my one experience spelunking other than the Underground River Tour was enough for a lifetime. I can imagine. I, I can imagine, friend. I mean, I don't want to, but I can. I'm imagining right now, and honestly, how do I- where's the unimagine button? How do you do that? How do you unimagine something? Excuse me, I would like to return my imagination, please. So I did see this chest all the way over here, this sneaky chest. This is exactly why I have trust issues in these divine beasts. Really? Really? An ancient screw? I came all the way over- I just got screwed. The game just screwed me. That's what happened. Ugh. So obnoxious. Wait, is this the beginning? Oh my god, this is the beginning of the dungeon. I could have actually gotten this at the start. Oh no, does this mean I have to go- Wait, I don't have to go all the way up again, do I? Oh no. I don't. Wait, could I have just climbed onto the top of the beast from the get-go? But maybe you couldn't get inside unless you go into the door. That's probably what it is. Well... See, and I think, I think I've gotten every- Oh no, that is the spine. I've been up there before. Okay, we, we, I think we've gotten everything. Well, let me check one more thing. <laughs> just, just one more thing, because if they're going to hide a chest anywhere, it's going to be on either the tail or like maybe the end of the head. 
And I haven't gotten to- I haven't gone to the end of the head. So, like, let's go check it out, I guess. If I- if I even can. Hello? Oh god, you can stand on his eyeball. How rude. Okay, it does not appear that there is anything on the end. Look at that, though! I've never been over here, I don't think. Doesn't that look so derpy? <laughs> is it me or- Oh no! Wait! No, 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 no! I'm sorry I made fun of you! I'm sorry I called you derpy! I- I- no! <laughs> but it did! It looked like his eyes were just, like, way too close together. Like, closer together than they maybe should have been. <laughs> I don't know. Funny, but also... I was... I was smited for my hubris. Alright. Here we are! The final Divine Beast. I think this is probably my best bet for, for gear. Or, you know what I could do? I could eat my attack food, which would be even better. How do I get into my food? And I could put on a different helm. But what would I put on? Something with like a lot of defense. Kind of like the thing that I'm wearing, actually. So maybe I should just keep this on. I could technically put Guardian Resist up on, but I don't know if that would be better than lo Like, I don't think that's worth losing 16 defense, you know? Why don't we put up the Climber's Bandana? You know, in the off chance that I need to climb during this fight. Spoilers, I will not need to actually climb during this fight. Actually, Link looks really dumb. Let's put this back on. <laughs> just put that back on for, like, style points. And then we'll eat some food. What shall we eat? How about a... I don't know. Here, let's sort. We do have like a nine minute long boost, but let's hold on to that. I only need four minutes to kill this divine beast. Four minutes is all I need. Here, we'll eat this for overfill and we'll eat this for buff. I don't think this ticks down during cutscenes, but we'll see. Don't forget to take a picture. Oh my god, thank you, Disney. I literally would have forgotten. I think I would have. Honestly, I still might, knowing me. I still might. Scourge of Divine Beast Valrudanya. Fire Blight Ganon. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is Ganon's handiwork. Thing got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him! That was me Watch playing the violin. Did you guys like that? <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna take a picture of you first, sir. Oh no, back way! Oh no, too close! Too close! Wait, what am I stuck on? Uh oh, no, that's a terrible picture. Can I have a good picture of you? God, there's there's not very much room to take a picture. Get away from me! No! Ooh, good opportunity though. Yeah. It's good. I think it's good. Well, here. That's even better, no? Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, replace picture. I'm happy with that. All right, sir, but now you need to be destroyed, I think. In fact, I'm not gonna go easy on you, like, at all. We're gonna pull out all of the stops. Does the Master Sword do extra damage? Oh, sure does. Oh, but it's almost broken, but that does mean it'll crit, which will be nice. So, Master Sword. I'm trying to think through this, and then I'm gonna, I've got stasis, and then bow. What shall we do for bow stuff? How about shock arrows? I mean, I could use bombs, but I only have one left. Oh, this bow's about to break too. All right. Oh no, I'm stuck on the thing again. Stupid apple, whatever it is, pear. What is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a, it, you know what it looks like? It's a Bulbasaur. It's like a Bulbasaur. Oh yeah, right in the eyeball. Oh, I bet that felt so good. You know what, die. Get on, little guy. Oh, he hates this. Oh, he's having a real... Oh, he's having such a bad day. Wow. Sir, that was embarrassing for you. <laughs> Sir, that was really embarrassing for you. 
Oh, that would have been a great picture if the game would have let me take... Oh, maybe I should try to take another one. Oh, shoot. Oh, this would be a good opportunity. Photo op time. Smile for the camera, Firefly Cannon. Well, I don't know. That is a cool picture, though. Oh, what do you guys think? Here, let's keep this one. Hold on. <laughs> uh, this is dangerous. I'm I'm playing. I'm literally playing with fire right now. Oh no, my album is full. Okay, uh, bomb time. Go. <laughs> my album is full. Dang it! I take too many pictures. Oh, that's a cool dude. That's a cool picture though. <sighs> um. All right, let me let me just delete stuff. Let me just delete. Like, yes, we're in a battle. Whatever, it's fine. We'll we'll delete we'll delete things. <laughs> Actually, I like that picture of the Molduga. Not that one though. Uh. Okay, I'll delete I'll delete more than that later, but that's good enough for now. Oh, I missed him. Wow. Uh, sir, sir, I would like a good picture of you in your bubble. Are you going to go back in your bubble? Oh, come on! That's so far away! Oh, do you ever go back in your bubble? Hi. Hi, friend. Hi. This is me. I'm like, oh, I can defeat the Divine Beast in four minutes. Takes four minutes to take a picture of Divine Beast. Or, not Divine Beast. Divine... G Ganon Blight. Whatever, whatever you're called. Do I have to do more damage to you before you'll... Ah! <laughs> Ooh, you know what, though? Win! Oh, yeah. Free shot to the eye. Oh, I'm gonna kill you if I do this to me. Oh, yeah. I need to not... Here. We'll just... We'll hang out here. This is fun. Oh, no, my wind! I lost my wind. I guess I need to get another wind. We'll call it my second wind. Oh, uh, you know, the older I get, the more dad I become. And in a couple years, I'll be daddy. Oh, no, I need a shield. Okay, wait. Oh, you know what? He may just die here. Ooh, I, ooh, no, I may just die here. It, it may be me. I, I may be doing the dying. Where's my shield? No, that's whistle. Shield. No, not those. We're, we're trying... Ow! We're trying to give him a chance, okay? We're trying to give him a chance. Can you shoot... Do something like shoot a laser. I don't, I don't know. Do something fun. Slashing your sword is boring. How boring are you? So boring. Oh my- oh, that was actually- okay, you know what? That one was cool. Well played. I don't think I've ever seen that attack before. You've never lived this long, sir. Honestly, I'm also sort of sad. This is the last one. It's the last time we're gonna get to see one of these dudes. So I want it- I want it to count, you know? I just want it to count. Really? Are you just gonna slash? You're not gonna... You're not gonna laser beam again. You're not gonna... You're not gonna do the big boo... Oh, the big boomy thing! I think he's doing it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Uh... Well, not really, actually. It's the... You know... Oh, God. I don't like that picture better either! I don't like that picture better... What do I do?! Oh, God. Oh, that's the stupid thing that... That Calamity Ganon does. That's where that... Why are you yelling at me, Daruni or Daruk? Daruk is yelling at me. You leave me alone, sir. I just want to have fun in my video game. Is that okay? Is that okay, Internet Warrior Daruk? Oh, you can't get me. <laughs> you can't get me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh! Can I just, like, I want you back in your bubble. Do you never do it again? Ever, ever? Oh, maybe now. Maybe he'll do it now. No, he's not doing it. But you know what? That's a good picture. Is that better? Is it... I don't know. Is it weird that I just really like the first picture we took? It's because his hair. His hair is so beautiful and red. Although, in this picture, he's doing his little finger ball, ball thing. I love that you're playing with your food. <laughs> What do you guys think, live chat? Do you like picture number one or picture number two? I'll let you guys pick this one. 
Davis says, Fireblight Ganon is basically me when relatives want to take a picture during Christmas dinner. <laughs> Do your relatives also scream, Do your bowl thing! <laughs> at you when they're trying to take the picture. <laughs> Do your bowl thing! Wait a minute, friends! I'm looking- You know what's weird? I'm looking at- I'm looking at, um, my analytics page. We had 11 likes earlier, and now we have 7. Why? That's- oh, that's super weird. We definitely had like 11 likes earlier, and now it says 7. Alright, live chat's saying 1, so I think we're gonna stick with the old picture. Ugh, fine. Alright, I, I still need to run though! Quick! Bulbasaur, save me! Oh, Bulbasaur actually saved me. Here, I'm gonna kill you with the Master Sword. Okay, well that didn't kill you, but... We could- let's- oh my god, let's- can we kill him with the Forest Dweller Sword? I'm gonna kill the Fire Blight Ganon with wood. Yes! <laughs> oh no! Wait, okay, put it away. Put it away. Oh, ooh, what was that attack? Actually... <laughs> I fucking threw a piece of wood at him. Oh my god. What a great way to kill the Fire Blight. Yeah. David says shows nine likes for me. Weird. Maybe it'll fix itself. I don't know. I definitely saw 11 earlier. I definitely saw 11 earlier, but... <laughs> that was a f I, Look, I had to have fun. It was the last time we're gonna kill one of those. Probably ever on this channel, which is sad. Except, well... If we do the DLC in this playthrough, we will kill it again. I, I There is that, but this is the last real time we get to kill it, you know? It's kind of crazy. If if you had told me seven years ago that I was do when I was doing this on Twitch that I would be in a room somewhere seven years in the future killing it again on a live stream on YouTube, I don't know if I would have believed you, but here we are. God, look at- I have four hearts left. <laughs> your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. What is that, our 18th? Oh my god, we almost have 20 hearts. That's crazy. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Do you still wish to activate it? Yes. Great work, little guy! I love Daruk. He's not my favorite champion, but I, I like him a lot. I big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me wrestling with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Rudania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up! I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. 
Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. So that little, the, during that cutscene, there's that section where he gives you the power and he's like, here it comes, and he like claps his hands together. That's like one of the moments from the trailer of this game, like the really, really good trailer of this game. I think it was an E3 trailer. And every time I watch that trailer, I pretty much tear up. I consider it to be the best video game trailer of all time. And, and that, that little scene is in it. So I always kind of get goosebumps when I hear it. <laughs> I like that he moves his head like a, a lizard would. That's creepy though! That opening of the head is a little bit creepy, admittedly, well, but cool still. It. We're set here. Now we just gotta wait for the perfect shot. Once Link is in the castle, Utania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here, even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? I wonder how hey, they're related. Look at that! So is that like his still great... Going strong indeed! Is that like his ah. great-grandson then, maybe? Like, is, is Yunobo his great-grandson? Because I can't imagine... I don't know. How long did Goron live for? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You got Daruk's protection, a protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Link. 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 Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. And the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, you'll be waiting a long time. Well, not a long time, but you'll definitely be waiting, Zelda. Because we're not going there straight away after this, obviously. <laughs> and not just because, the, you know, we're getting toward the end of our stream, but we're doing all 120 shrines before we even take on Ganon. In the first playthrough of this game, what basically happened is I did all four Divine Beasts, and then we went around and looked for memories, and then I think it was like, I saw all of the memories, and I was so enraptured by them that I... I wanted to rush and, and beat Ganon and see like how the game ended. So we actually beat him before we got to 120 shrines done. And then we went back and beat him after we did 120 shrines. But this time around, we are waiting until the very end. We're not going to be beating him twice. <laughs> I could beat him twice. I could, but uh, we're not going to do that. Um, so this is this is Daruk's protection. It is literally on the shield button. Literally same button. You cannot you cannot shield with Link without turning on Daruk's protection. Which, in essence, like, I love the champion abilities way more than the sage abilities in Tears of the Kingdom, but I will say that if any of these champion abilities have, like, functional 
let's call them like hiccups maybe. I do think that it's a bit unfortunate that you can't activate the shield without activating Daruk's protection. So basically, like you're gonna go through these charges of Dar Daruk's protection pretty quickly if you frequently use your shield. You can't, it's hard to save them for certain events. So that's part of the, also the reason why I like don't really shield in this game <laughs> is because I do tend to try to save my Daruk's protection because what this is, is it doesn't matter what hits you, it will always be a perfect parry. It's not even just a, like if a laser shoot, if, if a guardian shoots a laser beam at you, uh, it will reflect the laser 100% of the time. You don't have to perfect parry it uh, or perfect deflect it or whatever to be able to knock it back at the Guardian. Daruk's protection just does it for you. So you can look at Daruk's protection as like three free laser beams back to a Guardian. It takes three laser beam hits to kill a walking Guardian from full health. So essentially every three charges of Daruk's protection is a free Guardian kill. You can look at it that way. And I often do look at it that way. So um, it's a very good ability, but it, the, the non-flexibility of it is maybe it's one downside that it has, but it recharges fast enough that I think it's not too big of a problem. Um, David earlier said, imagine Goron Village, the Divine Beast has been rampaging and then suddenly starts running down the mountain towards their village. My god. And it's pretty hard to be to beat the vanilla WoW trailer, TBH. Oh, is that is that your is that is that it for you? Is your that's like your go-to can't beat this trailer? See, I mean I I haven't seen the the classic WoW trailer in a really long time. Maybe I should go back and watch it. Are you talking about the one that like starts out you're talking about the cinematic trailer, right? The one with like the night elf lady running in the forest and like the dwarf and his bear like on the mountain, um, like the snowy iron forge mountain. Like you're talking about that trailer. And like, isn't there even also like a, an undead like warlock or something? And he like slams a staff and I don't know. There, there's like, I remember the TBC and the, the classic trailers kind of had very similar styles to one another. And then they started changing it up with Lich King and on, but uh, yeah, the cinematic one that plays when you open the game. Uh, well, the first time you open the game, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, we've done it. We now have four Divine Beasts. Uh, we have 18 hearts. Do we have any spirit orbs that we need to spend? We do. We could technically get our 19th heart already, which maybe we should do that. Huh. Hey, brother! Thanks so much for appeasing Rudania, Goro! I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rudania, but... Well, it seems to have calmed down Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. I wonder, was that his ghost? Mm. I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Maybe that does explain why he fe why he's a lot... Like, he's less timid in the second game. There's also a special thing that happens with him when you first meet him, but I won't spoil what that is. Oh, oh that's right! I talked to boss about you, and he said to bring you to him. An order from the boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. Wow, that's very demanding and rude, sir. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going off to see the boss. I already know he's just going to be like, thank you for saving the town, and here is the champion Daruk's weapon for you to use. Just like all of the other areas that we've been in. Oh, a lizard! Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Call me Link. Lizard Hunter. Hmm? Hey, it's you. Yonobo told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that? I can't believe you conquered Rudanya. Color me impressed. But good grief, did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was all ready and raring to go at Rudanya myself. Oh, come on. No, you weren't. Lies! That's what they all say. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me. I don't know. Is he? Is he fibbing? He's not fibbing, right? <laughs> uh -huh. He's not. He's not fibbing. Oh, and I'm also happy to see Yunobo finally got his act together. I know that. I know that's your doing as well. No, you know about... Well, okay, maybe it was. <laughs> maybe it was my doing. But enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The Divine Beast Varudanya has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. Oh, right. I've still got to thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Keep it. 
uh, grab it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that... It is not sharp. I can already tell you it is not a sharp... That is literally the last word that I would use to describe this weapon, but okay. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. I will, but it's not sharp. However, well, as a Hylian, you probably already know this, but apparently... A hundred years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade. The sort, Dude, I don't have it equipped, so he doesn't... <sighs> That said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Oh, okay, he is gonna say something about it. Come to think of it, you look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. <laughs> Why does nobody ever believe me? I'm him! It's me! No! Believe me, please! <laughs> They never believe me. They never believe me. So yeah, the chest is on his throne. I feel like this is kind of a dumb place to put a chest, but okay. Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Well, Link is very tough, but look at this. This is like the literally not sharp at all. Like there is no, not even a single part of this blade looks sharp. It, this is for smash, this is a club. This is a club for all intents and purposes. It is a club. You hit things with this and they, they die. It does 60 damage. It's a two handed weapon with 60, uh, two handed weapon with 60 attack on it, which is pretty good. I mean, in terms of raw attack, that is as good as it gets for most baseline two-handed weapons. Uh, but of course, you can get better. You can get weapons to drop that have attack bonuses on them from Lynels. You can also get... Well, you can get you can get ancient weapons two-handed that have attack bonuses on them as well, and then buff them with the ancient gear. So this is a good weapon, but it is not the best weapon in the game. But it's still pretty up there, so we'll be keeping it. I might use it for combat. I might just use it to do mining. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really decided. Um, David says, I love Daruk's protection. I never use my shield, so it comes in handy when I'm, like, really scared of something. Yeah, I'm going to be using it a lot. Um, but there are going to be certain situations where I'm going to, like, borderline... Well, not rely on it, but it. I'll, I'll be saving it for certain moments. Like, I'm definitely going to be using it during the Ganon fight, for sure, uh, when we do that. David says, yeah, the cinematic one that... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Cinematic one that plays when you open the game. Yeah. The one with, like, the bear and and the, the dwarf and and the, the lady running through the forest. There is another cobble crusher here. This is a decent place to come and get a weapon that's good for mining. Uh, you can just constantly come back here and it will be respawned after every blood moon. The Congo is here. Um, he's probably going to have something about a memory for us, but we're not going to do that tonight. Obviously, we need to probably wrap it up, although I'm looking for the... I'm looking for the statue. Where's the statue goddess lady who gives me hearts? I know she's around here somewhere. Oh, you know what this also opens up for us? The, the NPC that I keep talking about that you can go to to sell uh, gemstones in... It's this lady! It's lit. You know, I will talk to her. I will talk to her. Savota, a bit early to flirt, isn't it? That's not what I... Oh, that's too bad. Oh, she wanted to flirt with me. Who are you? I'm Ramela. As you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are to be found in Goron City. The eruptions on Death Mountain have finally come to a stop. As a result, we've started restocking jewels. Oh, do you have some amber too? I need a whole lot. Oh, she, okay, so she wants amber. So if you bring her 10 of whatever gemstone she is currently requesting, she will buy it at a markup. She will pay more for them than you would get at a shop. And I think in this case, we have 10 pieces of amber, so we actually can sell it to her. And she, so normally, see, she even tells you, if you sell them to the shop, you'll get 300 rupees. If you sell them to her, you'll get 500 rupees. That is a huge increase, actually. That's like a 66% increase, no? So, Sarsquo, it's a huge help. So she'll she'll take all of your, well, she'll take 10 of them at a time and you can make lots of money this way. The problem with this, the problem that I run into is that she, like, 
first of all, she only asks for a certain type of gemstone, and you can't sell her the other types. She needs the one that she asks for. So sometimes you can have kind of bad luck where she wants 30 sapphires in a row, but you're, you've got a ton of rubies that you need to sell and no sapphires. Sometimes that can happen. Also, she does change what she wants, but I don't really remember what the schedule is. I think there is a schedule, but I can't remember what it is. I would have to look into it, but even if you try to get her to change it, I think there was some mechanic that Nintendo put in place where you can only change it like once, I think. Like you can't you can't just keep resetting or sleeping at a at a an inn or a camp and like get her to buy the thing that you have. I think. I think there was some I remember there being some annoying thing that prevented me from doing that. So um, what does she actually want right now? She wants 10 topazes. I do not have 10, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, are you trying to pull a fast one? Yeah, we don't have 10. So topaz is the thing that she technically wants next, but I guarantee you that I could collect 10 topaz and then come back here and she'll probably want something else. So, you know, it's not, it's not a foolproof system to replace selling gemstones, but it does encourage you to hold on to them and, and sell them in bulk. Um, it does kind of encourage you to do that in, in, in a sense. So this funny thing about this one, and I'm not really sure why she's wearing this thing is like a party hat. She's literally wearing like a party hat. It looks like it's made out of gemstones. Maybe party hats are normally made made out of paper, um, but you cannot have paper at a volcano. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just made out of like a gemstone. But it's interesting to me because it just every time I see a party hat anywhere, it always just reminds me of RuneScape. Um, I've actually been playing RuneScape in the last, like, I, I, it's been about a couple weeks since I have, because I've been playing Stardew, but I played about two weeks ago, and I was talking with David on Discord about it, and we were curious how much party hats were in the game, and so I looked up on the Grand Exchange, and the blue party hat, which is the most expensive one, traditionally, and still is, apparently, um, the baseline Grand Exchange thing that you could put up for it is, like, I think it was, like, 89 billion? And I guarantee you it will not sell or buy at that price. Like, well, it'll probably sell at that price, but it won't buy. I'm sure if you want to actually buy a blue party, pa party hat, you probably have to have over like a hundred million or a hundred billion um, gold, which is just crazy. <laughs> That's just insane. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get another heart container here. This is going to be our 19th heart container, which means that... Tomorrow, on stream, we should be getting our 20th permanent heart container, which is kind of crazy to think about. That means we're two-thirds of the way... Well, we're actually more than two-thirds of the way through, because you can't really get full heart containers and full stamina, so we will be short on, on the 30 hearts, which is pretty annoying, but it is what it is. It's just kind of part of the, part of the deal. Um... But yeah, friends, I think that is going to probably be it for tonight. We got lots of views. In fact, we got tee hee hee 69 views on tonight's stream, <laughs> according to my analytics. And weirdly enough, uh, it still says seven likes. It said 11. I doubt that four people came in and unliked the video, but it could be that maybe this YouTube did so, this video did so well that YouTube was concerned about fake likes. You know how sometimes that's a thing where people get, okay, sir, you're, you're in my way. You know how that's a thing where sometimes people get like, you know, bots to like their videos or whatever? Maybe, maybe the likes will come back after YouTube has verified them as real people, I don't know. But thank you to everybody who has liked the video. If you didn't though, and you're also not- God, everybody's getting in my way! If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit a goal of 500 subscribers. Um, sometime, hopefully, this year would be good. But every time I say that, uh, every time I have said that in the past previously didn't happen. So I'm, I'm building up defense mechanisms. I hope we hit 500 subscribers this year. That would be a nice, a nice little present to me for the year 2024. Uh, but also like the video too if you're if you haven't because that is a very helpful thing for for you to do every time somebody likes one of our videos YouTube shares it on the platform and that's how more people find us. Uh, David says luckily for Jagex they can add eight more zeros to the price of the party hat before they run out of digits. Oh wow, 
And Disney says, what a fantastic 500th video tonight. Thank you, Dizzy. I agree. I had so much fun tonight. We had a lot of people in here. We made some new friends. We got our final Divine Beast done. We just, I mean, we didn't do a ton of shrines. I think maybe we only did three. Was it three shrines? I don't know. Maybe two. We did a very small number of shrines, but we got a lot done. This whole section of Death Mountain is is quite involved, as you can tell, and so I'm happy that we got through it in a timely manner. And wow, she's really making the rounds. <laughs> I love how Link just stares at her as she walks by. Um, we have a Discord server. I'm going to go ahead and link it in live chat in case anybody wants it. Uh, please join the Discord server. I First of all, it's fun in there. We chat. That's where people post like clips of our streams if they find something funny. Um, so that's that's a fun thing that happens in there. But also, like we share our real lives. When people go on vacation, they share their vacation pictures in there. Uh, when I garden, I share my garden pictures in there. And also, if I'm ever going to cancel our streams or change a stream schedule or something, I typically will tell people about it first in the Discord server. So it's just the best way that you can keep up on the channel if you want to stay updated or just kind of ultimately be a part of the community and know what's going on. Um, that link will work for seven days, so if you're watching this in the future, and it's been longer than a week since this video has been posted, then just come and find a Sonic more current video, and I'll be happy to share it with you, or one of my mods will. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for another wonder, wonderful, wonderful stream. Happy 500th video. Here is to 500 more. I would love to see us get to the day where we have a thousand videos on the channel. That's kind of crazy to think about that. But it's entirely possible. It's going to be a while because, like I said, a lot of the videos that I have now are, are pre-recorded things and streams are a lot longer. But I don't know. We've been streaming about four days a week um, on the channel. So as long as I keep up a pretty regular schedule, I could see us getting to a thousand in like another maybe like two or three years. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but thank you guys again. And I will see you all tomorrow for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the wild. See you then, friends.